Um, are we gonna get apron key for this time? Yeah, I was too lazy to take it off. Perfect. I was, Listen, I was just doing. I, I was just doing apron key. You're so apron key serving a meal right now. I, I. That's why I was asking. I am. Cause I, was I gonna am make a joke about I it, am and then you got chef. defensive. I wasn't getting defensive. I was adding on to your bit. That sounds pretty defensive. Now I'm getting defensive because you're accusing <laughs> me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That was all I fuck? was trying to say. You know what? I'm done with this topic. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I missed you guys. <laughs> oh, man. I needed that. That was funny. Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. The Rift Seekers continue their travels through the Riftlands towards Ocelia. They approach the Sonoray Sea and the adventurers are hopeful to spend some time soaking up the evening rays and taking a dip in the blue waters. Before reaching the sea, the Rift Seekers will encounter one of the biosphere's most dangerous and magnificent creatures ever to roam the land. I wonder, will they ever make it to those sandy beaches? I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everyone. Session 38. We're continuing our ah. traveling towards Ocelia. Ah. We continue our mission north. Uh, last thing you guys did was buy some magical items from the wonderful elderly man known as Farragig Tom Buckler and his boat mimic, Nopper. So, um, you guys have the rest of the day to travel. By the end of the 29th of Praxis, you should make it to your next destination. Um, yeah, so with that, you guys continue traveling northwards through the Riftlands um, until you come across a small, like, forest patch. Um, while you guys are traveling through, um, go ahead and if you guys would like to make perception checks to see what you can see in this what forest. Um, the canopy of this forest covers out quite a bit of the sun, making it a bit darker. Forest is not as lush as the Brookbond forest. Um, I'll take that. But there is kind of like a travel dirt path through this area. Okay. So a lot of like the brush and or um, bushes, trees kind of would be parted mm -hmm. and there is a straight path through this, this okay. patch of forest. Um, right. so um, icing checks. 23. Very good. As uh, is expected. Do, do you say as expected? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so eyes. Okay. Nine. 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 Please, <laughs> druid boy. This should be all right. Uh, oh wait, no, that should be pretty good. Uh, Gawain, eighteen. Go With Gawain, yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have a bandage? <laughs> is it hearing? Do I get anything from hearing, or is this just going to be sight based? <laughs> it, this one would be more sight based. That's fine. Yeah, just yeah. double check. Okay. If you want to listen out, you can. You hear the lovely sounds of nature in the forest. <laughs> Yay, forest. You hear a squirrel and immediately uh, Gawain's eyes woo, dive through the canopy <laughs> towards the squirrel. All of you guys hear. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Gawain. <laughs> Anyways, you, Gawain, Gawain is now well fed. <laughs> so, as you guys are walking uh, through this kind of like darker, shadier forest, um, you guys would come across like this part of the trail and looking off to the side, kind of growing on this log are these colorful mushrooms. And there's like a large quantity of them. It's just mushrooms. <laughs> it's can just I mushrooms. do like any sort of like survival or nature check to see if like I can recall any knowledge about them potentially being poisonous or edible? Yes, I'm inclined to give you disadvantage because of where you grew up. That that would be so fair, and I would accept that. If I'll let you roll normally, but the DC for you specifically to recall anything about mushrooms is gonna be high. I'm checking my spell list. 
Nature? Or? This would be nature, because you're trying to gleam information about mushrooms. Where's nature? Um, I think it's in... It's going to be Igis. in the hotel. Do you have any... Igis. 19. Hold on. Holding. 19? Okay. Um, from your travels out of Igis, you would have come across different patches of, like, wild growing vegetables and or fruit, um, which to you... Um, you wouldn't really know what is edible or not, so I don't know exactly how your character would view eating wild fruits and or vegetables. Cause you- I, I would I would pick them just in case. Be like, maybe I can use these later. Okay. Um, so- <laughs> I'm gonna pick the mushroom. <laughs> for the mushrooms you might've come across in your time, um, these ones look a little different. The- amount of them and kind of like they grow in various different sizes these seem maybe not so natural there might be something else affecting these mushrooms and how they're growing i just start to pick them i'm like they're up they're they're they're, they're. yes I don't want to possibly uh, fuck up. Uh, can you take a look at these mushrooms? Sure. Okay, so taking a look at these mushrooms, so they're colorful and... They are of all different colors, um, okay. ranging from like a kind of natural brown to like a dark red to a Ooh. dark purple to like blue green um oh God, it's a whole fucking rainbow yeah it's it's strange you just looking at these no these are not these are unnatural the way they are growing the size and the colors they're not normal mushrooms and where in particular are we i know the forest but like what would we be closest to right now are we kind of in the middle of you are still in like Riftlands territory. You yeah. are still in Western Riftlands. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, what are you trying to? Is there a reason? I'm just wondering if there's any. This is just Jamie wondering if right. there's any sort of like, oh, we're in this location, and so maybe there's something nearby that could be like affecting plant life, or like there's like, oh, this would make sense for this area. So, or right, like that. correct. Um, so being in the Brookbond forest, you wouldn't have come across anything like this. Yeah. The only thing you would have known was the spirit of the forest and like its domain that it, you, it brought you into and how lush and green and beautiful it was. Okay. This being a darker, shadier forest, it might make sense that mushrooms grow in this area, but whatever these kinds of mushrooms are, are different. The only thing that you could maybe draw connections to mm -hmm. is in Lothmanger, how the rift might have affected things, causing yeah. anomalies, especially in the area known as Canopy, uh, which yeah. is where the trees grew in anywhere from massive s skyscraper sizes to any bitty trees. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only thing you might be able to draw a connection okay. to. Word. Yeah, I was like, Macau wouldn't know shit, but I'm just wondering. Right. Okay, so... But looking at them, Ornan and Dara, you would know that these are just not normal mushrooms. Yeah, not natural mm -hmm. to something. Yes. Okay. Da earth. Yeah. <laughs> Double check. Not natural to da earth. How many? Many. Okay. Well, I guess at this point, that is not a correct term. <sighs> I'm between two spells here. I'm gonna go... This might be foolish. Can I cast Detect Magic on them? Yeah. Hey. I couldn't decide between Poison and Disease or Magic, Ooh. but I'm going to go back. So what does it look like when you cast Detect Magic? Oof. Hold oh, on. I actually three. don't know for one reason. I don't know what tree this comes from anymore. Let me... I should have marked up which... I'll fix this eventually. And I was like, God, no. It's I hope it actually comes out. And got the sign into D and D well, Beyond for the first time in ages. Oh, four. Is there an extent? I know you. I can sometimes read you like a book. Oh, there's looking it up. Is there anything else you guys want to do while in this area? Kind of taking this little pit stop to look at these mushrooms. Are um, you picking them, Ornan? I'm I, waiting I for said... him to. Like, I was gonna start to pick them, but I was like, I don't want to 
the fuck up. Tadara! What's up with these? <laughs> I was like, before I pick them. Detect magic Can is you... a cleric spell. Okay. So... If he gives me the okay, then I will pick them. I don't. Uh, um, uh, um, 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 um. Because what ran through my brain was like, pick one, poisonous spores, and I was like, Perhaps. let the man handle it first. <laughs> He's learning. <laughs> He's learning. Hey, there you He's go. learning. Big brain time. I get. I don't really know how to describe this without it being like incredibly just inaccurate to the setting, but there are uh, just. You do what you want to do. Use your magic tongue. fingers. You're magic man. <laughs> you're <laughs> magic, man. Words, magic man. Any words, magic man? I played too many video games. That's the problem I'm running into. Uh, I guess I would grasp my uh, focus as usual. Okay. And then put my attention on it, mm-hmm. on the mushrooms itself. Yeah, yeah. Try and look for how Aware's light connects to it, see if there's like certain colors or anything. Yeah. So almost kind of like Mirage, how she expands her senses. You do the same thing, but it's more arcane focused and in this immediate area. And as your senses expand, you would able to see directly Aware's light shimmering around these mushrooms almost like they are infused with it um you can see like the iridescent light of aware seeping into these mushrooms and almost like there are veins inside of them pulsating with aware's light these are indeed magical mushrooms okay okay uh is there a school of magic (laughs) there is Give you a moment. I did not think of this. Um, yeah, because here, let me. For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn the school of magic, if any. It can also penetrate most barriers, but it's blocked after. Transmutation. So, transmutation. Oh. Transmutation. <laughs> These mutants are trans? Oh, yeah. Know. Holy shit. These <laughs> are trans mushrooms. <laughs> well, you seem actually, like a hold fun on. guy. Wait, hold on. What's your pronouns? <laughs> I can make that joke. I am a trans person. Do not come for me. There are two trans people at this table. And they sit directly next to each other. Hey. <laughs> Could this you tell? Not, this, I could was you tell? Say this is the queer side of the table, but you're over there. <laughs> Get over here, then. It's the fun guy, Ash. <laughs> that actually, that kind of goes hard for a duo. Yeah. Fun guy, Patch. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it does. Just yeah, get really close into the mic. Just so yeah, like, uh, <laughs> transmutation. It is transmutation. That's gotta make, make one thing trans. other thing, right? Typically. Um, Typically. On paper. On paper. Yeah, that's the no, ba- very basic paper? description of transmutation. But what do we? That's also on paper. Mm, I don't. I don't. Once I again, don't. The I don't understand how this spell exactly is transmutation. But then Listen. again, it's been a while since I've looked up the schools of magic and exactly what they do. Healing magic is necromancy. You just kind of roll with this shit. It make to me that makes perfect okay, sense. Okay, that does make sense a little it, bit. It kind a of makes sense. Bit. Like there's a logic there. It's just weird. Like yeah, exactly. We'll keep because the one that starts with the C is time magic. Uh, chronomancy. Conjuration. No. What? Or is that different? I have no idea. Anyways. Don't mind me. I'm in a spellcaster, but yet I still can't memorize my schools of magic. Don't mind me. So, what would you guys like to do? Uh, <laughs> I don't trust these mushrooms. That's what I want to do. Okay, one and see if it ends the spell. It's so not like, a bad idea. If but it I also goes like want... outside of like the barrier or like whatever is like over it, wonder if you pick it, it will like turn into something. Yeah, I mean, I can see but like what where it's poisonous. Shush. <laughs> Because it's a concentration spell, so basically my eyes are just magic at this point. Uh. Ooh, that that will make things weird. That that will get weird in the future. We'll I mean, deal with that later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, take, taking a look around. Is it just the mushrooms? Is there anything else glowing of magic? Nothing else. Nothing else. Not even the log that they're growing out. Just one patch of mushroom. 
Weird. The mushrooms yeah. themselves are magic, nothing else is. That's, That's suspicious. Also, transmutation uh, is it's like stuff with transmutation uh, manipulate the physical properties of items and people. Oh, that, that makes, makes so much sense, actually. It's not actually. just making one thing into another thing, it's changing the properties The word itself, transmutation, sounds weird because I always think like transmogrify like, or, like or transition, transformation. Transformation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all it's the fucking Latin root there. Yeah. Like feather fall is a transmutation spell. Yeah, because you're yeah. That makes that makes so much sense. Okay, yeah, 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 Okay, yeah. that makes sense. I I understand. I love shit like that. I get so I'm okay. a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I hate playing a character that doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. Say, I, we're both welcome to being playing like, a character that I'm not good at. I.e., what the fuck is a mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all oh, mushroom, 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 mushroom. Um, magic. <laughs> yeah. Um, hold on. Does anybody have a uh, mage hand, by the way? No. Wrong side of the table. Wrong side of the table. I don't think Look so. Look away in shame. Uh, I had someone who had mage hand. Shush. Uh, 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 Locate. Uh, I, Ambrose does not. I didn't think so. No. How do I? But thank you for the reminder. Uh, mage yeah, armor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I use that. That's you a pop in, You pop in mage armor. Oh, oh, oh Ambrose does. He does. he does. He does. He does. He does. It's uh, it's uh, at will cantrip for him. Oh, oh fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, if I could have Ambrose pick one. Sure. Uh, Ambrose casts a uh, mage hand. So this like a uh, dark spectral hand just <laughs> in front of him, floats over to a mushroom, grabs onto the stalk, and just, with a little bit of force, <laughs> pops out the mushroom, and just kind of keeps it there. Ambrose is kind of like waiting, sensing the suspicion and kind of like anxiousness of this all, just kind of like keeps it there. Any change in magic? No change in magic, uh, no spores. It seems like a normal mushroom getting plucked out of the ground. Okay. It does not seem dangerous. I don't have identify, so I literally can't do fucking anything here. That, huh. That's the downfall of. No, that's stupid. Because do you have identify? I don't I think don't. you would because of the material component. I do not. That's the reason I've never taken it, is I don't have the material component. You don't have a pearl with 50 gold? No. I don't have random pearls laying around. Me? Obviously. I got 50 gold. <laughs> now I got 50 gold. Um, Who's got pearl laying around? Me, obviously. And it's 100 gold, not 50 gold. Oh, yes. Which is even worse. Well, I have 130 gold. No, I can't even get it anyway. None of us can. <laughs> um, I have 755 gold. No one here can have can identify. Seven That's fucked up. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll just pick the mushrooms. Okay. Ambrose, mage hands over the mushroom to you. No, I'll just pick all the mushrooms. I don't know what to do with them. After picking two more mushrooms, the magic dissipates. Oh. What? So okay. the three mushrooms you have are still infused with this magic, but the rest of them do not. What do they do? What the fuck? What do they do? What are they? I have no way to know. I know, that's just, just ask the, the ether. Did the mushrooms on the ground turn into anything else? Or did the magic just go away? Uh, What Dara would see after picking a third mushroom, the light of aware in the rest of the mushrooms would disappear, but the three would still be infused with that light. So they still have some sort of magical property within them. I want to eat one. No? That's so weird. This seems like a horrible idea. Um, We need um, to find um, somebody that can cast um, identify. um, um, um. Which I don't know anyone that can cast. Shall we continue on then? Yeah. No. You still have detect magic up, right? Yes. Uh, quick question for you. I have. I don't know if this is anything particular. Having the bag of those jade crystals. I don't know if they're just regular jade crystals or if there's anything funky about them. They are regular jade crystals. Okay, cool. I if just, I've been meaning to ask and I just forgot. Cool. <laughs> I just pull them out. Are they shiny? How now? long have we been walking? Since we met up with the Fetter gig, about yeah, an Tom hour Butler. ish, he's gone <laughs> because he clearly had access to identify. 
Oh, well, Nobber also fucking took off. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I can catch up with Nobber. <laughs> um, the yeah. best bet I would have would be to Wild Shape, and that could take who knows how long. Yeah, who fucking knows. Alrighty. Well, we'll never know. Because no. no one here has the ability to cast yeah. Identify. We can't even get the spell. Yeah. Also, a housekeeping thing that I forgot about when we were buying all like those health potions and stuff. So I bought two normal healing potions and a potion of greater healing. I had already in my possession three potions of greater healing. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have so many healing so potions? We're fucking stocked. We are good. Did we buy the bag of holding? No, no, no. We did not. We decided we didn't need it. Which we really don't. Yeah. We really don't. And, Correct. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but Bagman can stay in the bag. <laughs> what? I'll tell you about you it. You think later. that's the only legend I've created? Or I didn't even create that oh, one. Yeah, you don't get credit for that one. Sorry. No, I saw Bagman and then I created my own. <laughs> I'm like, I want a Bagman in my world. <laughs> All right. I, I keep think on Bagman's yeah, I guess we just carry on. I'm going to stick these in a pouch and. Weird ass fucking mushrooms, I guess. Eat one. No. Mushrooms. I don't want to die. Eat one. Yeah. Like that's like Eat I one. will. When we set up camp for the evening, just to make sure that I'm not throwing spell slots away, yeah. I'll throw detect magic and detect poison and disease at it. Yeah. I don't mean that is sound, a thing you can do. Yeah. I don't mean to sound like a princess, but can we find camp near a body of water? I still have some of that bug guts. Cake no. Right. Oh, yes. that's right. <laughs> yeah. There was yeah, so well, much that could be done in the moment. I mean, I could generate some water. I'm twitching. Oh. That that one can just like make it. It's. Do you it just does want cast to, like, some mana, but I can. Do you just want to. That's something I can do if you're that uncomfortable. I think. Yeah, maybe we could just wait until we get to camp. Let's okay. just see where we are. Yeah, yeah, just. Yeah. Um, we have a yeah. map, uh, right? A uh, map now? Yeah, I have a map. Have of, a map? I have a Skathen map, okay, and then cool. we have the Lothmanger map. Mm. Okay, cool. And Amazing. that's like it. I can yeah. now refer to the map. <laughs> yeah. I should start making like simple regional maps for you all if we do traveling. Yes, right. please. Right. Yeah, please. Because whenever I make a map, I go way too in detail. I'm like, I could just make a goddamn like pirate treasure map for a region map. And be like, here you go. Where would you say that we're at? Uh, like north of Fimbleton. In like the line, like where they intersect. Uh, over here. North. Nope. Oh, sorry. North. There you go. Right like here? there. Okay. If maybe a little further up, because that's. Okay, so we're close. So you're close oh, to the sea. Oh, 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 yeah, because that's the that's the shape of the other one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yup. That one. Yep. Yeah. You're we're not gonna go there. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't send us to Skull Island, would you, Keith? No. I that was the funniest book. That yeah, you wouldn't send us to Skull Island, would you, Keith? Uh <laughs> Keith. Heart. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> I am okay. actively going through and marking all of my spells up so that way I know whether or not they're druid or cleric in the future. Very good. Ah. So that way I can determine what my fucking flavor looks like. There you go. Uh, we should be getting to water soon. <laughs> if I, I'm not super uh, great at reading maps, but... That's fine. It's fine. We'll figure something out. I'm sure like I said, I can yeah. literally generate basically a hose of water to throw at you. Yeah. Yeah. Could do that. But then you're just kind of walking around wet. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, there's a downfall. That's a different yeah. type of... Do you have ghost, gust, right? I do. Hey. I mean, I can... It's a silly <laughs> idea, but it could I mean, work. It's, I mean, it's going to be I mean, it's very all kind cold. Of, it's all kind of caked on at this point. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, magic power. Oh, yeah. The, shower. You a full yeah. bath. More than just a bath. Ornan did what he could, brushing it off. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then you want to hey. uh, yep. be poor. <laughs> you're taking it better than he would, and I just shared Ambrose. Yeah. So you're already. Ambrose right. stays like ten feet away from you at all yeah, times now. You're, you're, you're taking it much better than he is. So 
There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, yeah, let's see. Make haste. Yeah, we'll keep going. <laughs> 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 Well, wow. we're doing the gay walk. The yeah, gay we're, speed we're walk. Old person, the cleric. Okay. Sure. The gay Does walk. Sometimes the way you that move one. is goofy, but not in a mean way. In like a how intriguingly comedic. Does that make sense? <laughs> so. Right sure. all those are cleric spells. As you guys uh, continue forward. Oh, yeah. Um, you would see kind of the end of the path out of the forest, kind of where it ends. Um, as you guys, oh, we, we, Eric Gawain, is he staying relatively near you or is he above? He would be relatively near me, but he would still be scouting out about. My question is, is he above the canopy or below the canopy? How high is the canopy? Bleh, relatively 20 to 30 feet, depending on tree size. Oh, yeah. that's he'd be basically like uh, right underneath the canopy. Okay, cool. Um, make a perception check with Gawain. Um, that twenty, so that's a total of twenty six. Let's fucking go, bird boy. <laughs> Using your senses through Gawain, as you guys are just about to exit the forest. Um, Gawain would not only see, hear, but feel this thing. Um, a shadow, large, winged, would be casted over the forest. Gawain would hear a... to be circling back. Eventually, it, you all would hear it okay. over the top of you, this large shadow. <laughs> then you hear it <laughs> crashing through the canopy of the trees in front of you. <laughs> sliding onto the path and like shaking its head a green dragon appears guys smaller in size but still larger than Wait. all of you <laughs> travelers who've come to my forest you may only pass if you hand over your treasure if you do not, your lives are forfeit. <laughs> it like licks its chops. 38 sessions in and we found the dragon. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> dungeons and dragons, everybody. Dragons. We started with dungeons. Dragons. And we arrived with the dragons. Dragon. Um, <laughs> I have been watching too much Smosh lately because as soon as you were like, you hear something like flying overhead, I was like, oh, pick it a second time. Pick up the phone, they hit the Pentagon! <laughs> the other team hit the Pentagon! They hit the fucking Pentagon! Oh my god! So, this young green dragon is in front of you. It folds. It, um, it spreads out its wings and like stands tall. Its long serpent-like neck snakes up above you, looking down from above. It spreads out its wings and kind of like swipes its tail, knocking back, back a tree to show off its size and force, trying to intimidate you all um, to uh, have you hand over your treasures to it. Um, you can see... Um, on this dragon's neck, kind of like at the base of its neck, um, you see like this ornate gold necklace. Uh, looking at it, it's pretty big. Um, there are four arms intertwined on this gold necklace that like makes up its design. So, what do you guys do? Hmm. Good thing I saved my spell slots. 
Are you going to try to fight the dragon? <laughs> no, not really. Absolutely not. I'm gonna find out what those mushrooms do. Hurry! Oh. Hand over your treasure! <clears throat> I do not have time! He's cooking, he's cooking. Oh no. <laughs> there is cooking. Work. He's cooking, he's cooking. It does not cooking. work at all. For so many reasons that does Cook, not work. Dara. Okay. Cook faster! Stomps hey, his foot again. <laughs> checking my spells. Let him cook. <clears throat> what if we simply left the forest and let you live? You cannot part this forest unless you part with your treasure. Stomps again. Poof, its tail swipes under the tree. Poof, knocking it over. Now the light of the sun pours through this thing. Um, as it's like looking at you guys and it like knocks over a tree, its head shoots back up and it starts like looking towards the sky. Its eyes kind of go wide. Like it's looking out for something else. Its attention goes back to you. Crush your treasure! Give it now! Are you looking for something? Or someone, maybe? Something. I do not have time for questions. At this, um, it like, uh, you see this like light um, kind of erupt from its stomach through its neck and it just... <laughs> I forgot what green dragons spew, but essentially it's just... Acid, question mark? Uh, no, that's black dragons. Yeah. Well, I think... Poison? I don't know. It might be... Air. It might... Bad air. I, think it, I think green dragons also do acid mm-hmm. as well. I think it might be uh, poison, like I'm poisonous checking. gas. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm checking. Also, you said it had like a pendant. Poison. Its neck. Poison. It poison. poison. So it's not acid. No, nope. black no. dragons have acid. Yeah. Okay. Red is obviously fire. You know, it's yeah. funny because I did research on this and I just forgot. It's also been two weeks. <laughs> so, anyways, it, been two it copper, spews. Thunder. It spews this green poisonous gas up as another show of intimidation. <laughs> Um, so, what were you guys doing? Insight check? Uh, no, we hadn't yet. I hadn't yet, okay. no. Um, I would like to insight check. If you want an insight like check, you can. And then what were you that doing? That was part one of my question. Okay. And then also, I have a lockbox that I'm almost certain is empty, but I'm thinking it would buy us time to wh- whoever the fuck it's looking out for. And then, oh no, it has to do with that now, and then we could skadoodle, but I'm not sure. Because I don't want to fuck with the dragon. Like, I know yeah, it's a I don't young know. dragon, but it's still big, and we're level six. <laughs> yeah. Dragon. So, insight. <gasps> not yeah, good, it, don't it worry about it. Uh, inside of a 14. 18? Okay. Four. Okay. Um, you two would know that this thing is anxious about something its body movement and its um aggressive nature of just trying to get stuff out of you Mm -hmm. uh it seems like it's either on some sort of time crunch or it does not want to be here longer than it has to be okay it 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 wants to leave okay and so it just like spewed out its shit and it was like hurry the fuck up basically yeah it spewed it up into the air but it's gradually like stomping its large paws or claws and getting close to you by the second it doesn't want to hurt you yet if you're willing to give you your treasure but it might be soon that he might take more uh aggressive tactics i think the lock i don't remember where the lock box came from throw it but i'm pretty sure it's empty Fact check me, um, because I don't know. I just have oh, yeah. lockbox in my equipment, yeah, I and I no think idea I know that it wasn't thing. anything consequential, but I just know I have it. So I don't think it was important. I think you had opened it and then you pulled whatever it was out. Yeah, or there was like was. nothing cool in it. I was like, oh fucking stupid. I guess I'll just hold on to the box and try to I sell it later, but, and yeah. then I never did. A random lockbox is not throw really it. any bells to me. Yeah, I'm like, throw it. Yeah. So I'll just I'm like okay, okay. You offer your treasure now. Yes, I yeah. uh, yes. You will give your treasure. Yes. Now! Okay, okay, <laughs> right? Okay. Sorry, you're just really cool and I've never seen a dragon before. So this is kind of crazy for me. Sorry, you're just Hush your fork tongue! I do not seek words, I see treasure! Right. Give it to me! Which I'm about to give 
Do you? Uh, what? Uh, let me. I'm digging. I'm digging. Hold on. I got a lot of shit in here. Um, the rest of you. Now. No. Oh, okay. this is this on is the, a group on. treasure that I have. I know you have more. So, uh, what the, what what is your name, O Great hmm. Dragon? <laughs> you stand in the presence of Thanax Servala. Wow, that That's sounds very difficult to spell. <laughs> how do you how do you spell that? Uh, Why yes, it is T H A N A C H S R R R V A L A. I'm so sorry. Can now you... give me your treasure. Thanax <laughs> Servala. <laughs> I got it. I did not, but uh, I got it. Thanax Servala. Okay. Right, uh, the Nox of Valor, of course, yes, sorry. Uh, where did um, I put that treasure? Hmm. Okay, Do I have anything uh, worth that I can throw out? No. It yes. almost, like, as you guys are, like, reaching for your stuff, it's snake-like head slithers out towards you and it's like greedily like looking at everything you have you can see that gold pendant around its necks more clearly now and it's like it, it seems hungry for your gold like it yeah. wants like it's yeah. starving for this gold there's definitely something going on there mm. um does it gale <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh okay mm, um <laughs> nice boots mm, nice I'm famished, boots. <laughs> famished. um I'm gonna. Uh, I'm. I'm so sorry. We just. We just. There was a merchant, and so we just. A lot of our treasures we traded, and so this is just hard. But uh, I a, do. I. I have this very ornate, finally. ornate lockbox. I don't think there's anything in it, but it's a very, very fancy lockbox. It just kind of like takes it in its yeah. jaw. <sighs> Another. More, more! I desire more. That's that's all we got. Um, I have something valuable deep down. I just can't. All of you guys. All of a sudden, another shadow is casting from good. way high above. Good, good, good. As this happens, immediately, um, the eyes of this dragon like grow like wide mm-hmm. in fear as it shoots back up and just looks and you can see now like a cat it cowers and like slingers oh, yeah. down and it's just like and it's like looking it tries to like it um fold its wings back up to a body immediately and tries to make itself as small as it can be and like almost pushes itself away from the path as it's like looking up no it can't be he has come you want me to call your buddy then he like, you wouldn't dare. Your lives would end if you do. If you were smart, you would hide. If you were smart, you would give us our lockbox back and fuck off. Intimidation check. Yeah! Oh, fucking crazy! 16? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Try to scare me. Fine. It like tosses the lockbox at you. Have it. My life is worth more than that thing. And it starts to like push itself back. The shadow cast it over again. As you guys look up, it's another winged creature. We should go! I'm gonna start like scuttling like more into the trees. Where are you going? Wait! You will remain after he's gone. Your gold is mine. Like, his eyes are just locked on what's above. Was it God, at all possible to get even a remote shape of whatever it was other than Perception winged? Perception check. Okay. Can I have Gawain fly up and see? Yes. You can Gawain, Gawain no, flies I don't at... shit. Okay, you can make a perception check. The DC is going to be way lowered for you, though, if you use Gawain to fly above the canopy. 60 feet per second, so he should... Uh, I got 13. Okay, perception check. I got a... On that 13! (laughs) Sorry, I'll give you a proper answer. Okay. Gawain would start to fly through, like, the hole that the dragon made when it knocked over the tree, flying above the canopy. And the dragon, like, looks out towards Gawain and then shoots its eyes towards you. 
recall that foul thing now, now. It's just a bird. You, it slams down its um, massive claw like in front of you and the ground shakes and the tree beside it falls oh, down and it goes as Gawain fly above um, this thing is in the light of your lore, but after it passes through the rays of light, you see this massive creature in all its glory. Its body, white, marble, joints fragmented, the same as its wings, its massive head, a void. Its attention turns towards Gawain as it starts flying down the tree falls to its side. You see the shadow cast it again. Silent, this thing folds its wings before it comes. <laughs> gliding into the ground. <laughs> like an earthquake, all of you are just knocked to the ground from the sheer impact of this thing. Um, the green dragon immediately starts to cower away and like s roar and scream in fear. Before you stands what appears to be a dragon that is made of the same thing as the Rift Walkers. <laughs> a dragon? <laughs> Rift dragon. It stands Sick. at a gargantuan <clears throat> size. The green dragon, and almost like a small animal compared to this thing. Um, almost like comparing a huge fucking horse to a kitten. Um, this dragon begins to like push itself away before spreading its wings and as fast as it can just. The rift dragon takes chase. It uh, spreads its wings out. Again, all the joints fragmented. This thing should not have the ability to fly, but with force, <laughs> launches itself up flying towards the green dragon. Uh, you see this thing kind of like uh, juke off to the side before coming back and just <laughs> swiping this green dragon down before <laughs> falling uh down. I think this is our It lands place. by the green dragon's body and just kind of like presses its marble claws into the body before it lifts up his head. And in this weird sort of like piercing scream, almost as if something is trying to scream behind a wall, behind some sort of like plasma energy shield, just this like warbling scream. Um, as it like lifts up its head, it's just this. It goes silent for a second before clouds just above the dragon and lightning erupts all around it. Um, this thing proud of its kill. Um, after it like the scream dissipates, so too does the clouds above it. Um, it lowers its void-like head and turns towards you. All of your guys' gaze rest upon this as you look down the, pa the foresty path. And this thing looks at you. Releases its claw from the dragon. And just kind of stares at you. Almost like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. Just like stalking you from a ways away. Well, not a good meal. Macau is shaking in his fucking boots. That thing just like summoned a rift storm for five seconds and then it just, it's a big motherfucker! It's a big motherfucker! Don't. Run. Yup! Yeah. <laughs> you guys start booking it and for like a few moments you guys are running and it's just silent and you think, oh, it's not going to give chase <laughs> until... In one massive step, just you hear almost like a rock avalanche. And it's gradually getting faster and faster as you guys are out of the forest. You guys finally enter the hill lens of the Riftlands and start booking it. Um, okay. 
So the Rift Dragon <laughs> is going to uh, give chase to all you guys. Um, so as you guys are running through uh, the like hilllands, um, Mirage, you would begin to feel something. As you guys kind of exit the forest and you see like the rocky hilllands of everything, off in like the near distance on a hill, you see this almost like ancient just archway. Um, it seems to be kind of decaying a little bit, kind of crumbling away or eroded away. Sorry. There are strange markings all up the side of this thing. And as you guys are running from this rift dragon, uh, Mirage, your senses kind of like light up like a spider sense in your body. And that archway only you would see begins to like spark. And then just this like ethereal portal just... <sighs> opens up in this archway <laughs> the markings on the side of it begin to glow this golden light very similar to the same energy you would have saw that swirls around ethos uh, through that archway all right I know it sounds stupid trust me so it's it would be macau me the than you guys yep. Macau just, the response to you is, ah, ah, just, just, ah, <laughs> Sprinting, just hop on the broom. boots. <laughs> okay. I don't think they can make me go any faster, so, but. Um, as you guys are all running and this thing is giving Get chase, to hop on. Um, it <laughs> grows closer and closer to you guys. And you would hear once again, that strange sort of like ear piercing, like weird scream. Dara, get on the bro. You hear go, 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 go. And like, if any of you look over your shoulder, you see this thing lift up its massive <laughs> rock claw before this blue energy just in its hand and it goes, <laughs> Is it a fucking so, all of you that are on the ground currently need to make a deck saving throw. Did you put Dara on the broom? I don't think I can fit on the broom. You can? I think it's you like can't a, lift up to 500 think... pounds? Was it no! <laughs> not for Dara! <laughs> Do you not realize Dara is a bear of a man? <laughs> Dara without equipment is 350 pounds. <laughs> and with the shield, add 40. Natural 20! Sorry. <laughs> Pookie. <laughs> you said dexterity saving for yes. that? Hell. Yes. That's gonna... That's my brother. That's my brother. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Can we help you in any way? Okay. Once we no, find out what happens, then maybe we can help. Once so, so something happens, I can react in See, my own way. See, here's the thing: is fly. I'm only five feet behind the cow. As this thing slams its marble claw into the ground, that blue energy erupts like a, like a shockwave, like a, uh, an actual shockwave that you can see on the ground. This wave of blue energy with like uh, blue streaks above it, just. <laughs> just all the way out. Um, and all of you are caught in this zero gravity field. <laughs> Fuck, not again! You guys are like running and feel lighter and you go like, okay, this is weird. You start like moon <laughs> jumping. Um, but Dara, you are caught off guard and this thing, as you are like running, you kind of like trip from the sudden change in gravity and start tumbling upwards. Which does make sense. Um, yes. If I can try to lasso him to like get him closer to us you can try but just as quickly as the gravity kind of like um sweeps over um mirage you're not affected because you are in the air but you would still see the shock wave mm -hmm. um dara you fly up like 10 feet and then all of a sudden that wave that woof, would yeah. come back and you would yeah. Uh, oh, uh, and you fall 10 feet, taking okay. three damage. points of bludgeoning damage. So not a lot, but three, three points of blood. Make it one. Correct, yes. One hey. point of bludgeoning damage as you kind of tumble, using your shield as kind of like a brace, you poof, tumble onto the ground uh, and pick yourself up and start running again. Yes, do that again. Yeah. Um, this thing would, and then you'd hear again that, 
<laughs> and it takes flight. <laughs> you see it like circling above you um, before it like puts its wings back down, folds them up, and takes a diving swipe at all of you. Um, so for those in the lead, which well, actually it's gonna attack at you first because you are flying. Um, so Mirage, dick. you can go ahead and make a uh, dexterity saving throw. You, you dragon dick. <laughs> Dragon. Dragging this dick across your face. Yeah, all right, I'm going to get into that one. Hey, yo. Oh. I love Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I just dribbled. Oh. Oh. How dexterous am I? Nine. Okay. Fuck. I want to roll higher than a 10. I think Jeez. that is the goal. That's the goal today. <sighs> what is the rank of the spell? Let's bless this. How stupid of an idea do I have? Okay, um, Mirage, as this thing, um, it brings out its claw and you take eight points of piercing damage as this thing, like you see this and try to go faster and faster and faster, but it just grazes your back, um, gouging, like rending your clothes and flesh. this thing continues flying before it circles around and takes another swipe at the people below this time. You see it go really close to the ground, dragging its claws across the ground, creating these like fissures in the ground. Um, so, Dara, since you are behind, you two go ahead and make dexterity saving throws. Oh. Ring of evasion. Okay. Uh, you save? 17. 17 saves, so. I was like, I don't feel confident in my abilities yeah, right now. With a big boy. Tears across the land, but you guys are able to expertly dodge out of the way and keep running before it flies back up. And you guys are getting ever so close to this archway. You're almost there and it sees where you're going. So as it flies <laughs> above all of you, oh, yeah. you would see um, as it's kind of like hovering and almost like pondering what to do for a second. You see it take another like, whoo, um, flaps its wings up and it twirls before you hear another storm clouds and lightning. So everyone gets to make one more dexterity saving throw. Did not fail. Is there there any way that I can help Dara? I have an idea. What's your idea? Don't worry about it. Okay. No. I'm gonna gonna live forever. Huh? Is this fucked at all for me, or? <sighs> We're about to find out, folks. Make I'm, I'm... a wisdom saving throw for me. I might just have to. I'm going to contest it with something else that I would. Nineteen. Need. <sighs> That's really good. You save, okay. so you're fine. Okay. Um, I did not have to use that roll. Okay, so you are good. Okay, so normal dice. It's not gonna be good, watch this. Oh, 17. 17? Yeah. Saves. You don't know. <sighs> no. um, so you bad. have Ring of Evasion if you want to still use that. I'll do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you two save. Uh, I was hoping that <laughs> it, it's you know, the whole of this shit hits me if I could use Bastion of Law on myself. Sure. Yeah, okay, I want to use. Question while we are determining this. Yes. Um, is this another anti grav field? Because that completely hinges. Damn. Mm-hmm. I have a cool it's idea. A, uh, impromptu th- rift storm. I, I had a feeling. I just wanted to see if there was also anti grav because I had a stupid idea that it's not going to work is without there it. Is there any way that I can turn to help Dara? I'm going to be fine. Ah! Okay. I'm okay. injured, but you I'm not going to fucking collapse. And you're like, Bastion of Law. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, ah! I have to get far to the ironwood sword. It's fucking stupid tough right now. <laughs> the dumbest thought just like entered my hand. It's like, what if the ring of evasion was just like this beautifully like crafted, just really pretty just ring on Ornan. <laughs> You're just really well, it, it pretty. It kind of is. It's like a oh. gold. It's a gold ring with a hummingbird on it. Like that's its actual design. So yes. you're a little, you're a little pretty. So it's like an ornate hummingbird ring pretty. on you. Yeah. Ornate for ornate. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So I used uh, two sorcery points fingers. to add two of those fashion things to myself. How I add? Okay. I just go. Yeah. No. So that's a D eight for each one to okay. reduce damage. Well. Uh, okay. My initial plan doesn't work, but I have an alternate plan. 
what is your plan? Because essentially what's going to happen is the lightning of the storm will damage you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you uh, thinking? Uh, Ironwood. Okay. Is, is it lightning conductive? Is it made of wood? Is it wood or is it metal? Because metal is, wood isn't. I have Dungeons and Dragons with Dev, one of the only places you'll find science and fantasy. Uh, every time! <laughs> Do you have any other tools that are made of metal? Sure. Cool. Yes. I want to uh, do the extended, the throw it all out, okay. but instead of like trying to root in the ground, I want to throw myself on the ground and root it up. <laughs> it's like and a dome like, around you, just yeah. to full like shield over myself. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I essentially, I the deck save, but I failed the deck save too. And if you sit, if you on the like balls of your feet and you're holding it over yourself, mm-hmm. that makes you less likely to be a conductive thing. Exactly. So that way, science. So you take seven points of lightning damage. Okay. But as you like are running and you see this thing form a cloud above you and um, it forms a rift storm above it and lightning um, begins arcing around you. Um, you see like for a brief second, um, lightning start to form above you. Your hair starts to stand on end. You know something's coming. And as reflexive as you are, you bring yourself to the ground and bring your shield close to your chest before the ironwood shield, its um, roots and branches just spider out and poof, dig itself into the ground, rooting you to the ground with it. And you hear the lightning just zoom before it. Whoosh, collides with your shield and you just see the lightning and electricity all around the shield. You still take the damage from being inside this thing, but significantly less than if you were to just take the full force of it. Oh yeah. So yeah, after the uh, electricity dissipates, you're able to and begin running again, uh, getting very close to the uh, archway. Uh, Mirage, what are you doing? I failed the deck save. You did, but you are on your broom, correct? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll again. I'll give you advantage on this, since you are kind of like dodging through. Okay, yeah. Weaving and dodging? Fuck. Yeah. Wait, it just Bob and weave. Uh, deck save, you said? Yes. With uh, advantage. advantage. Okay, that is a 12. 12 doesn't do it. Mm. You rolled twice? Yeah, I rolled earlier and I got under. A roll, I, wait, was it a roll again? Like do a second roll or it was, was it advantage. do another roll for advantage? That was his second roll, that was his advantage. Was it, okay, oh. I thought you meant yeah. like do another roll and so, give it advantage, like to stay on the broomers. That's what I thought you were doing. Yeah, you take 22 sure. points of lightning damage. Hold up, I'm producing that shit. Okay. <laughs> because I don't kill. Oh my God. Eight, you said 22? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Okay, I reduced Minus it eight, by so reduced 14. It by eight, so 14. Okay. Oh, that's the exact amount of health I had. <laughs> so, <laughs> it would have gotten me too. Yeah. If I had been dealt 22, I'd be out too. If 14 points of lightning damage. More. Um, you see this uh, lightning, lightning strike just <laughs> strike right in front of Mirage. It strikes the broom and you see it before Mirage just starts tumbling in the air before. Whoosh, that probably wasn't super high. Let's yeah, just take an advantage not. of just the 50 foot speed. speed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. still, I still gonna tumble. So you're, you're, you're definitely still tumbled. Decent so I'm you guys would fast. see yeah, Mirage okay. zooming towards the archway before lightning strikes, breaking the tip of the broom and sending uh, Mirage to the ground, tumbling and sliding right in front of the archway. Oh, okay, I yeah, know you You would be- Crazy! The rest of you are within feet of the archway. Almost like in slow motion, all of you are just Yeah. This rift dragon circles back around and starts <laughs> zooming <laughs> towards you all. Okay. So what are you doing with Mirage down right in front of this archway? Um, as I'm running, running into it, I'm gonna her. scoop her up. And like, yeah. not even, I'm not even gonna fully pick her up, if anything. 
I'm gonna grab and throw myself backwards into the portal with her because like going that fast, I'm not gonna be able to just, let me just pick you up real yeah. quick. I'm just gonna <laughs> and just backwards into the portal. Yeah. You hear the dragon slicing the through dragon. the air as it's coming straight for you guys. Um, but yeah, you pick up Mirage and throw yourself into the archway. The rest of you, um, Dara, you are still like maybe 10 feet behind them. Um, you hear the dragon getting closer and closer and closer, just flying through the air. Mirage and uh, Macau disappear through the portal, followed by Ornan. And just as you like reach your hand into it, you would begin to hear like the crumbling of the ground behind you as this thing is just trying to get you. Mm -hmm. You go through the portal and everything becomes calm, peaceful and serene. And that dragon is nowhere to be found. Oh my God. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Jamie is like, that's so fucking cool. Like I was like, <laughs> big bitch make arcane lightning. <laughs> Don't like it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, well, uh... Is this the beginning of our beach episode? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the inaugural beach episode, everyone! Ah! <laughs> All of water. <laughs> goodness. Bath time! Yes. <laughs> Wake up, Mirage, at the beach! <laughs> Give her a potion! Give her a potion! Hold on, guys. He, the, he, the, the, the healer the is potion, here to heal. The potions are for emergencies when we can't do spells. Yeah. All right, so, how, many, how HP do you have total? Uh, 49. Uh, yeah, I won't be getting you anywhere near that. <laughs> That's fine. I just need to not be dead. But you <laughs> guys would be transported on top of this um, overlook, I guess you could say. Um, you could see this beautiful, gorgeous sea in front of you. This strange, white, um, disjointed, kind of fragmented island in the middle of it. You can see seagulls all around you, uh, rivers kind of going off. You see there's kind of like this mountain range behind you to, uh, to like the southeast side. Um, but you guys have made it to the sea and on your map, you would see that it's the sauna ray sea. Um, you guys would like turn around, kind of like looking at everything and see that there is a very similar archway on top of this overlook. Um, but looking around, no dragon in sight. It's very serene. You can hear the waves kind of lapping on the sand below you. Um, looking around as well, you would see that what you appear to be standing on is not over, not just some overlook, but like looking off towards the east and west, you would see that this is almost kind of like a tunnel, but it's open on multiple sides of it. So like um, facing towards the sea, there are openings, like massive openings to this huge, huge tunnel. We're talking like massive in size, um, almost like the arcs over Lothmanger. It's the, almost the exact same design, but instead they loop and form kind of like a tunnel. Um, so you can see holes uh, of this tunnel and the light kind of like pouring through. Um, and like looking around, you would see that like below you is this small town built inside this massive tunnel. Um, so what would you guys like to do now that you've made it here? Take a second to breathe. I'm going to cast oh, oh, uh, Cure Wounds at third level. I just, on the other side, just ha I just have it. Dana, Dana, please. Dana. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> I don't remember what third level Cure Wounds looks like, so I have to look it up. It's a lot of dice, that's all I remember. The dragon. It's new. Hmm? Not the spear fighter. No, the spear fighter, uh, spear fighter. Uh, <laughs> what if we just. 3d8 plus. Throw him around by accident. 13. 13. Plus. 
if you need a reference photo for what I was trying to describe, that's Ooh. the best I could find. Yes, please. Because two. my brain is not <gasps> imagining it. One. So 14, 17. So I guess it's not really like a tunnel. Time. It's more so like... 21 HP. Um, rings things. of earth. Yeah, that are just... Ooh, yeah. That's okay. what I was trying to describe. It's giving, it's like, like, the, oh. like, the Air Nomad, like, built underneath oh. the cliff. Oh, oh yeah. kind of, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's kind of, like, what I'm thinking, it's, thinking about, yeah. It's also giving Sonic Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so yeah, that's what I'm trying so to reference. Um, that's so fucking cool. A massive tunnel or s- like rings made of earth that almost look like earthen waves, kind of. Yeah. Um, and th- there's a town that's built into this sort of wow. open-like tunnel. Wow, that's so fucking cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So, Cure Wounds is casted upon you, Mirage. What? I don't know how much you're I just have her like slightly in lap, like, hey. Hey, you okay? You okay? This doesn't look like the afterlife. No, 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 no. no. We're She's all, awake. We're all very much here. We're not back in that place. I promise. I this know. isn't, it's not paradise. I don't know. You guys are I mean, it kind of I mean, looks like it. At, we it were talking. Yeah. The par- Shush. You're okay. You're good. You're, okay. you're not dead. You got real close. I should have shield. You should start carrying a shield around. <laughs> oh, man. Life saving fucking Ooh. things. We're not dead. We're in paradise. We're right in the sea. Hey, guess. there's water. Oh. There's water. Oh my god, I miss hey, the ocean you, so much. Your wish came true? Yes. Oh my god, there's so much. Uh, there's also like a town down there. Should yeah. should we start heading down there? Yes, yes. See if there's oh, a. Oh man, the ocean brings me back. All right, let's go. Gonna... Let's get mm-hmm. the pretty lady to the sea. Let's go. No one's bothered by the fact that we just got teleported. A We're ungodly. Gonna, we'll, no, we'll unpack no, that we'll, 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 <laughs> okay. I am bothered we need by to it, get which is why I'm trying not to be bothered. Exactly. So, have <sighs> I seen the sea before? I know I haven't. I haven't. I don't think I've ever gone outside I, of Anamnesis until it was for stuff with Anamnesis is by mm-hmm. the ocean. So you would have seen the ocean. Um, Am I the only one that hasn't like seen the ocean? Mm-hmm. You've not yeah. seen... This. I've not seen the ocean. You haven't? You've done so much travel. Yeah. I thought you would Mistwoods is by the ocean. I wasn't certain if that was going to count, but all right. I would assume at some point someone would have taken you to like the seaside. All right. Then yeah, I've also seen the ocean. If you want to remain more inland, then that's fine. I wasn't certain. We are, but we didn't Igis, discuss that much. Yeah, Igis and Mistwoods are by the ocean. I didn't know the that. The Sectoon Swamp is kind of like a part of the ocean. But yeah, like yeah. Not. But yeah, I, I forgot to send you details of like how she would take Sasha and Sophia for a vacation. Okay, so yeah, so to the sea. Macau and Ambrose, mm, Ambrose would might have maybe, Probably. Ambrose might have. And if not Ambrose, then maybe one of the other mm, homies might have been out there, but I don't think I would. You might have never seen the sea or the ocean ever in your life. This is the first time you've ever seen a body of water this expansive. <laughs> okay. I remember Macau? the first time I saw the ocean, and so that is a, that's a religious experience. <laughs> Macau doesn't know how to swim, does he? Nope. What? <laughs> Macau doesn't know how to swim. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. I need floaties! I need floaties! Well, there's several options that we can do this. Oh we can god. teach you how to swim, or we can do my family tradition of you get thrown in. I mean, hey, that, yeah, that's how Ethan got taught how to swim. His uh-huh. uncle would take him to a park where there's a river that's right, like, in the an area where we live. And, <laughs> and his Places. uncle would literally just go, all right, and toss him into the river, which, by the way, has, like, there's people do slightly lesser intensity white water rafting Oof. on this river. And he was like, come back to shore. And he's gonna be like, to and he told me that. I'm like, are you fucking serious? That's awesome. That's crazy. <laughs> Story time, my fiance no almost died in the river. 
absolutely crazy. But anyway. No, that's only mildly traumatizing. Yeah. So after getting you, like, situated in the couch, just, like, standing and staring at the water. Let's create even more distance from that horrible nightmare thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How inland is inland? Speaking of, did my broom make it? Looking at the ground, um, you would see, huh? I would assume that we would have probably picked up it. Yeah. Yeah, because if it was with her, I would grab it. Yeah. Um... The tip of your broom seems to be broken. Thought oh. we can get that fixed. That's what caused you to, at such high speeds, to tumble out of the air. Um, and with the force of the lightning, it kind of drove you down. But it can be repaired, and it is still able to function. But without As that sort broom. of like tip for the broom, and it kind of being shattered and splintered, it's hard to control. It is, in fact, giving Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you guys doing on this overlook? Um, Staring. Considering myself loud. Water. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm no, we're not anywhere near the ocean at this point. If I'm taking a look, is it like the big pocket, like directly north of Fambleton? Yes. So it should be fresh water. Uh, y- yes. Y- maybe. Because if it if it's oh. gonna be brackish, it should that wouldn't be up until the ca- coastline. Yeah. Um, the only place that I could see there being salt water would be Sectoon Swamp. There is a river at the very north of the Riftlands that flows through to the Sonoray Sea. What? The river flows up? Mm-hmm. North of the Riftlands, there's a river. Do you not see? It doesn't go up, up, up. It go, it go, it is broken. Yeah, like there's, there's, there's the river. Right. And if geology means it would go out to the ocean. Not from the ocean in. Correct. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it was like from the mist. Hold on a minute. From the mountains on the Mistwoods, that's kind of where it starts. It flows with the Sonoray Sea, and the Sonoray Sea splits off. There's a river to Anamnesis, and then it would go out into the ocean. So you are correct. Okay. It's fresh water. Oh, so My bad. There's no way. This ocean is fl- the river's flowing from the ocean down. <laughs> right. That Science means the ocean part. is higher than the fucking land. Science part two. This has been science time. <laughs> We're Dara. being educational today. Ugh. <laughs> oh. We love learning. The inaugural beach and science episode. It happens every time I'm talking about it. Fantasy maps make me blind with it. All right. That's fair. I knew nothing about geology when making this map. <laughs> Halfway down the fucking hill. <laughs> <laughs> get me Going. in the water! <laughs> You're so, afraid they get wet. All right. What is that from? Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. Davy Jones. I'm thinking of... Oh my You're god. You're mad! You s- <laughs> You're afraid to get wet. <laughs> I don't know why, but in that voice, it sounded like the, the, the cyborg from Treasure oh. Planet, and that's what I immediately thought. Yeah, You're yeah. afraid to get wet. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so, Mirage, after recovering and sees the water, um, immediately begins ma- begins her way making going down the mountain, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> so, you guys would eventually come upon some, like, switchbacks um, going down this... Um, I guess mountainous terrain. Um, as you guys are walking down, you would just see this lone knight. I'm talking full like dark steel armor, helmet and everything, broadsword like in the ground. And he has kind of like this, this red feather on his helmet that's kind of like flowing in the breeze. Uh, and he is just sitting down on a rock, um, arms on his knees and just staring out into the ocean. Does not even acknowledge it when, like, you guys get close to him. Is there any signs of life? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) You just hear... (laughs) 
when he breathes. He's the fucking Tin Man now. No, it's just when he breathes, it creeps. It's moving his armor yeah. a little bit. But you can see like idle movement. Okay. Um, it, he is alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You all right? <clears throat> Without even moving his head, just mm. solemn duty to uh protect the ocean. <clears throat> uh. Monosyllabic over here. Forgot common. What's what do we got going on? <laughs> Monosyllabic. All right. How big is this guy? Like, is he like a thick armored man, or is he like a? I'm just a knight, dude. I'm out here. Kind, we talking like very generic sort of build. Okay. There's nothing unique about him apart from he is just donning full, just full plate full dark armor. steel armor. Is it like toasty here? It's a bit cooler only because of the like sea breeze, okay. um, but with the sun and it being um, yeah. almost um, stratophon, which is yeah. the middle of summer. That's, I was just gonna it's, say, we're getting to the end of Praxis. What, 70 In days? his armor would be uncomfortably warm. Yeah. With okay. you guys and your traveling uh, gear, um, it is warm, but not unbearable heat. You though though you would notice as the days have gone on, it's gotten warmer and warmer and warmer. Okay. Can't wait for the wardrobe change. Can't and wait he, for he's still wearing a helmet and everything. Mm-hmm. Good lord. So it's very, uncomfortable. Very solemn duty to protect the ocean. Evidently. You are uh, bored. Mm. Got the name. Mm-hmm. You worried about the salt and gumming up the armor at all? It's mm. fresh. Listen. We just talked about this. <laughs> I'm trying to get something out of him. Right, yes, of course, apologies. Are you here on leave? Business? Business? <sighs> Come on, we just want to talk, and I... If you want us to fuck off, just say it. Mm. You, have, not a, not you a, have to say no. it. Come on. Where uh, where are we at at the moment? If, if yeah, do you know? know can, can we at least get a location? Like, where the fuck are we? Where are we? <sighs> Listen, man. Do you even talk like you? You mm, can roll a persuasion you check. Just find I thought you pick up a pebble. <laughs> no. At his armor. Persuasion. <laughs> talk to Hello? animals. <sighs> talk to <laughs> animals. <laughs> 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 For fuck's sake. 15 on persuasion. Maybe a frog, oh, am I? Maybe a frog poly is a human. Can I also? Human. Uh, sure. Can we, I, just, I don't know. I wasn't sure. With disadvantage, like, rock thrower. Yeah, sorry. Can I also do <laughs> Sure. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> the first one was pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I said 15. <sighs> You're at the Sonoray Sea. Oh. So he can't so talk. Don't give him Sorry. shit. Maybe he's the town of Furwyven is just below you. Furwyven, thank you. That's where sin is. Yes. <laughs> They're doing gay shit there. He said that's where sin is. Oh my god. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise, <laughs> game boy. I wrote the campaign. <laughs> And all these bitches gay! So, in fact, the town of Furwyven is all populated by the gays. Indeed. <laughs> and how high play. up are we all elevation wise? Now, even just a science rough estimate. Man. A couple hundred feet. Okay. I, I'm not looking for science here. I'm just trying to get a rough estimate. A couple to a few hundred feet. Okay. Roughly. So, why sit here solemnly? When there's a town below. Not social? Break. Break? No, it is. Who do you serve? You got a, a local regiment or uh, travel? Uh, 
None of the above? Okay. I don't... I, I don't, think if you're going to ask him a question, you need to do one that doesn't give a yes or no answer. You have to get a detail. Like, oh, who do you work for? And then just leave it at that. Because <laughs> if you give him the opportunity to... Uh, he's gonna... You're welcome. <laughs> Straight the the editor too. We can't do anything about it. <laughs> we sit at Base the table boosted. weekly, <laughs> willingly. We sit at this table every week. Yeah, there's no willingness. Because you, you love me. You love me. No, to be fair, yeah. if we do miss a session, it's the, the end of our lives. Is over our yeah. bed. It's yeah. not pretty. Yeah. I, I think individually, he knows where all of us live so if we decide true. to miss a session i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna just wake up with him standing next to my bedside yeah. with an axe <laughs> being like are you really sick is that yeah. what's going on here i'll be like yes. red gleaming eyes red gleaming. I said, please i miss my fiance please help me this man has taken my fiance he's trapped not yet <gasps> <laughs> Give it time. you were already trying to steal that one i'm close he has stolen I have not. You have you effectively have stolen their fiance. Next week I do. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway. So is it just shared custody? I guess they yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so Joint sorry. custody fair, between fiance. So okay, I mean, it's that, just that, pretty that's normal. Take, I've been in shared take. custody my entire life. It's very fine. give and take. Damn it. We, start, we, need to, damn it. we need to do a game night so that... I want him to. Oh, I mean, I've also been in exactly. shared custody. Editor, okay. pause, please. This is not information everyone else should be privy to. <laughs> pause. Uh, Halloween. Yes. Uh, Evelyn wants to throw a Halloween party, and so I was thinking, if we are free that night, we can play board games and stuff. I'm. Hey. I do you believe that request be free? Is, I'm pretty sure I think it's on a Thursday. Enough. It is, I believe, on a Thursday. It is a Thursday this year, and I do have Halloween on if off. I work or not. I don't know if I work the following day, but I do have the entirety of yeah, Halloween. That's off. fine. I, I have, have I have it off too. So if mm. we all want to get together here and you know, play board games, we can. Yeah, do. I would assume that I would work up. Friday. Mm. Because I'll, I'll be off Thursday, I'll probably work costumes. Friday, and then I'll Evelyn wants to do matching weekend. costumes too. But we're not doing matching like a couple's costume. We are matching. We are going to be the exact same thing. That's fucking funny. We are going to be the Chosen from Smosh. Oh, I know what that is! Chosen must be the new guy. <laughs> this dumbass is a fucking house guy. Like, that's gonna, we're gonna be Did someone same. say meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those days. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna be the Evelyn, chosen. Evelyn wants to go as Arena and Joseph Joestar. Hell yeah. yeah. You gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was telling Ethan about her. <laughs> I literally came home after that strong yeah. session. I went home and I was like, Woman! <laughs> I was like, I just had the most wonderful conversation with Keith. And I'm like, I was like, she's so, so nice. He, he, I started like tearing up because I, like, I love my friend so much. I was like, she's really nice. I'm just really happy for him. <laughs> and I went off on a tangent. It was very funny. And then I proceeded to be like, we need to have a game night so that you can actually meet Keith and yeah. Andrew because she... I want you to meet them so bad. Like. I, I talk you about guys you guys all the time, well. and so Evelyn is like, next time you play D&D with your friends, can you invite me so I can at least talk to them online first? Bring her over! Bring her here! Yeah. Bring her here! Yeah, yeah. I, I'll try pulling just some let, teeth to try to get that day off. Hell yeah. Just, yes. just let her sit on a session and then just witness yeah. the it chaos and then talk afterwards. Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like staples won't. <laughs> they won't yeah. kill you. Um, yeah. Will Davenport have care? have paper there. I could just... Do a quick month. Well, I have all of October <laughs> off. That's so well, true. Well, not all of October. If you request a majority. Off, I well, have I mean, Thursday off from Scary Win, and I only work Monday through Wednesday at the Davenport. So mm -hmm. Thursday is free, free for me. Mm -hmm. um, so you could request it off now and get it off. Or at the very least, request to get off, like to See, work but whenever I do that, they just go, boom, 3 p.m. And I'm like, fuck. No, request it and then text Claudia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, and then I told Josiah, yeah. so Josiah yeah. can be there too. Like, um, and then I wanted to invite my friends Stephanie and Charlotte over. They're like my really good friends. <laughs> you know Stephanie and Charlotte. And yeah, I think I'm they really, would love what? to meet you guys. I'm really oh. excited for an opportunity to meet you guys because you guys are <laughs> very just, important to me and he's very important to me. And so I want you guys to guys. know. And then I might also invite my other D&D group if they're free. Hey. 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 
crossover. Yeah, dude. Crossover. Yeah, dude. If there's that many people, I will probably leave incredibly quickly. That's fine. <laughs> no, I like, cannot social come that well. Hang out. You're like, okay, awesome. This is so grand. <laughs> like, Otherwise, out. I will bring a Steam Deck and I will sit in a corner. Period. And that's fine. Um, cool. As long as that's it, cool, and then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm good. Done. No, you you're like good. take breaks. <laughs> you're like, okay. I that's just how I social. I just yeah. know that like I want it to be like a party party. If it's gonna be like a Halloween party, so yeah. I'm like invite everyone I know, and that includes <laughs> you guys, other D and D group, Josiah, Stephanie, Charlotte, and my girlfriend, <laughs> and Ethan. Officially. Yeah. <gasps> yes! <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, yes! I was just pretty yes, this conversation yes. at work, so. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I never got to ask, so. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love love. <laughs> love love. I love love so much. Yeah, we've been playing. Uh, Please bring cup names. Yes! And, and. Um, ransom notes? I have it. Ransom notes. Oh, <laughs> I'll ask my mom if she knows where it is, because if not, I'll go buy it. Give me three shots and ransom notes, and this is the time of my life. <laughs> Do we need to bring out the bottle of wine for Red Dragon in again? Oh. Trap! Trap! Yeah. <laughs> we'll discuss this when it's a little closer. Yeah. But anyway, Hold on. It we're was, still you almost, halfway through September. You almost said that in the tone of, Daddy will discuss it later. No, no, I was like, Daddy will discuss, no, no. We'll discuss no, no. it later. My hair is almost at that length, by the way. So when I woke up this morning, we're going to die a blonde. Listen, this morning I woke up, was brushing my teeth, and I looked in the mirror and I went, oh my God. Because it was like when, the, when, <laughs> this, when this haircut grows out, I get perfect Steve Harrington hair. Yeah. And sometimes I'll wake up with a fluffy and messy and be like, ah! Steve Harrington. <gasps> Hello, boy. Okay. Are we back? Are we Resume. Back? Resume. We're back. Welcome back to the beach episode, everyone. Yeah, beach episode. We're, we're, <laughs> we're at the fucking beach. Session 38.5. So, okay. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You're still talking to the night or are you leaving? Yeah, I'm yeah. still trying to talk to the night. <laughs> okay. I don't remember what I asked him. What's your name? My friend was like... All right. Uh, good to meet you. My name is Dara. Uh. You know anything about these uh, arches? Should uh, should we talk to you uh, once you're I just asked him a question. <laughs> Hold on, don't give him too many questions, you'll get confused. I'm already confused. Super <laughs> minded creature. It's like a ghost, you have to... Uh, yeah, no, nothing about the arch? Uh, okay. I think you know you, anything about Will the... you be more enthusiastic to talk to once you're off break? Uh, I think your persuasion role has uh, run out. I think it's worn off. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I take the hint and I walk past him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. I'm still there. I'm Saying. like, I'm taking his lead <laughs> right okay. now because I feel connected to you right now, brother. <laughs> Ornan and Mirage begin to leave down the mountainous terrain to the town of Furwyven. I might be so. down to keep talking to this man, but I just keep staring at the ocean every once in a while. I'm like, oh, the night. Oh, that's really, oh, that's really cool. Oh. <laughs> So, you just ask him. Do you like the view up here? Is that why you come up here? Mm. That seems like an affirmative. You're doing great. It kind great. of uh, allows you to get away from maybe like the hustle and bustle down there. Is it a mm. busy, busy city? Yeah. Yeah. Not okay. Too, not too much. I am starting to speak this fast language. <laughs> yeah, this is strange. <laughs> thinking okay I, I got it um i know we already asked but like it it feels you know you seem like a like a cool guy d d d could you could you share your name with us <sighs> please let me guess his name is actually <sighs> persuasion pretty please with the with the jelly donut on top he takes a sword out of the ground and stabs me. <laughs> he you so no longer have a head anymore. He is so annoyed with me. <laughs> the total would be three, by the way, just in case that's important. You hear the sound of the wind breeze across his like armor. That's it. All right. Cool. 
He's so good at talking. I'm actually so proud of him. Uh, <sighs> you originally from the sea? Ugh. Are you a fish? <laughs> <laughs> What? Are you a fish? What the fuck? Polymorphed You're not even here. You know what? Fuck it. Are you a fish? <laughs> Polymorphed into a human. Does not even answer. Yeah. Can you ask him? No. Am I a it doesn't matter what he is. Am I a woman? No, I'm just trying to get to know the guy. We don't know his name. We'll get there, maybe. He seems cool. I want to get to know him. Leave the poor man on his brain. Shut No. <laughs> How long do you got left on your break? Until I'm called. Oh, that's okay. kind of nice. That's kind of pleasant. What duty would you be called for? Ugh. I see, I see. Ugh. Do you work here? Or is this just vacation? Hmm. Dark plate, does it seem familiar? Are you asking him that, or are you asking no, me? No, you. History. Is it just standard dark plate? Like, it, nothing, no it, other... It is standard dark plate. No other identifying marks. No, no other reason. Doesn't seem oddly specific. Not like black. No. Just dark Not plate. with like a beak town at all. <laughs> okay. Just wondering. This seems like, <clears throat> if anything, um, the knights you would have seen mostly have same kind of armor as him. The helmet he has, though, is like over his face and you can't really see any details. Um, It just seems like generic knight armor that you might have seen before. There's really no unique details about him, apart from that he's just wearing full plate armor Okay. out here. So, are you a touring knight? Uh, are you here to no. stand challenge against someone in case they step foot across the cliff or something? I don't know. What the, uh, uh. No. Threat step through the portal? No. no. You may not even know that was Rift portal. Dragon? Hey, you know anything about Rift Dragons? No. <laughs> <laughs> he turned. No. Oh, fuck. Mm. Alright. Sorry, it was just a weird question. I just got done being chased by one, so. Trust me, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. <laughs> I, yes. I want to. Does this guy seem like he genuinely is just not super interested in the conversation, or is it like he isn't allowed to really talk about stuff? You get the sense that he is genuinely uninterested in speaking just, whatsoever. He's just on his fucking break, and he doesn't. No one else is up here. Yeah. And the way you see Mirage and Orden going, is this is not a well-traveled path to get up here. Okay. There is just like a natural switchback. Okay. And the archway just seems to be like here. Okay. Um, and he is just taking in the view. Okay, so he came up here of his own volition. Like this isn't a designated break yes. area or where he's supposed to be stationed. It's yes. just this is where he came and we're bugging the fuck out of him. Yes. Okay. Correct. All right. I think we made the right choice. And I'm gonna go do something potentially stupid. Oh, wonderful. I love. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna go walk over to roughly where he's at and just sit down. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna take in the view as well. Okay. Um, okay. I'll sit, I'll sit like, I assume he's doing the same thing, but like a comfortable distance, because I don't know this man, but I'll just like sit on the ground and mm -hmm. just like, just like look around. How long do you guys want to spend up here? I'll start with just like five minutes, see how I'm feeling, see if there's anything interesting, and then from there I'll make another decision. Yeah. After five minutes, nothing happens. Okay. He sits there, just gazing out. 
Macau, you wanted to go to the sea, didn't you? Yeah, never, uh... Go catch up with the others. Seen it before. Go catch up with the others. I'm gonna sit here. It seems... I kind of get why he's here being quiet. Well, you know, I... I do too, actually. Uh-huh. This okay. is... Nice. Just sitting. I'm just gonna stay here for a while. Yeah, this is real. This is. Maybe I'll take a fucking nap or something. I don't know. This is nice. Uh, we, I can enjoy the scene in a minute. I'll just, you know. No, oh, shut up. So that way he can enjoy it as well. Yeah. Okay. So. This poor man now has unwanted company. If you guys spend over an hour, <clears throat> sure, taking in the sights, um, you feel extremely relaxed. The sight of this beautiful ocean coastal landscape the sound of the um, seagulls that fly around you the breeze the sound of the waves on the sand below you all of it just fills you with this sense of just bliss after everything you guys been through all the danger you've encountered all the traveling you've done all the energy you've exhausted yourself over the month you feel all that kind of wash away all the worries in your head all the fear and anxiety wash away both of you guys max hp is raised by 10 for the next 48 hours max hp Okay. Yes, not temp HP. Max HP is raised by 10 for the next 48 hours. So, Team B. You guys would make oh, your way... Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Team Beach movie. Sorry. That's actually pretty funny. You guys would make your way down the mountain, and you would eventually come across the um, stone walls that surround the outside of Furwyven. You would come to the red-roofed uh, kind of like iron gatehouse um, that leads into Furwyven. Uh, as you approach, the gates are open. You would see guards posted on either side of the gatehouse who just kind of like watch you and as you approach, one of them would like smile and just like wave to you. I wave back. <laughs> Welcome to Fair Wyvern. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Welcome to Fair Wyvern. Fair Wyvern. So, you guys enter <clears throat> the town of Fair Wyvern. You will notice that you are directly below. Um, like the overlook that you guys just came out of. So it kind of like cast this kind of like ringed shadow over the town. You notice there are three large kind of like pools of water that are inland um, on this town. You see that there are kind of like these um, small little like plateaus off the side of the closest pool of water. You can see some like teenagers who are jumping off of it into the pool of water below. Um, you can see this is a, a, a quaint coastal town uh, surrounded by these stone walls. Um, <clears throat> you would notice as well walking through here um, that there are kind of like banners and flags that are hanging down. Um, and looking at them, you guys would know from being an anamnesis that this symbol on the flag or this banner represents the anamnes anamnesis conglomerate forces. So outside of anamnesis, there is a general like military that is controlled by the leaders of anamnesis. So most of the riftlands, like the military and the towns, the forces are governed by the anamnesis conglomerate. So like how Lothmanger had specific shepherds, outside of anamnesis in different towns and cities, the military groups that would be there are the anamnesis conglomerate forces. I know that we're not there obviously, but just for like future reference so mm -hmm. that I don't forget the question, is that something that's separate from, is that anamnesis as a whole or yes. anything related to Sepikita Ward stuff? It is, just anamnesis. Okay. This is, it 
you would kind of know that each city-state has their own specialized military group, mm -hmm. but a Namnus is as a whole outside of okay. it, instead of it being divided into factions and leading to potential faction like wars or yeah. territory wars, a Namnesis as a whole just has their own military group that they spread out of a Namnesis okay. to the surrounding lands. Oh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so, um, what would you guys like to do? You see all the houses and buildings here have like the same red roof as like the gatehouse. Um, there are smaller houses here. Um, you see people walking around with like nets full of fish. Um, you see people here who you would um, probably notice as sailors. They're wearing uh, very light um, outfits, cloth pants rolled up to their knees, light linen shirts. Um, this place smells of like fresh seawater uh, mixed with kind of like the smell of like fish. Um, you guys as walking in would kind of be in like the town square, I guess you could call it. A lot of buildings around you, a lot of houses, cobblestone streets, um, trees everywhere. Um, again, you're like the pools of water. There's like white sand around them. Um, but yeah, you can see towards the end of the coastal area, kind of like um, there's this little bay of water and on the opposite side of kind of like where fur wyvern stops on the opposite side, there seems to be like these, this ancient building of some sort, kind of made of like sandstone, um, very different to all the buildings in fur wyvern. It seems to be some sort of ancient um, keep or castle of some sort. Um, you see there's quite a large dock here, a lot of big boats, um, or boats ranging from anywhere to big to medium to large. Um, so I guess from like sloops to man of wars almost. Um, most of them are like brig brigantine sizes, I think it's what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, so like mid-sized ships. There's a shipyard here, a fishery. There is an inn, a tavern, um, a smithy, and a few other like specialized shops here too. But yeah, this seems to be kind of like a quaint, cozy, coastal sort of town. Uh, I can get used to this. Should um, should we find a like a place to get some rooms at least first? Yeah. Do we have like some place to uh, return to? Yeah, I would certainly love to find someone where I can change and wash up. Mm -hmm. Should we wanting to find like a bathhouse, or are we wanting to go to the sea? Ooh, I want to go to the sea. Hmm? Oh, what are you feeling, Warren? Probably the sea. The the other ocean that I've been to is quite in the cold, so uh we'll didn't really that. have like the chance to like frolic in like the water, so <laughs> oh, we're gonna fix that up real quick. Okay. To the end. <laughs> By all means. Grab this grab Warren's hand, just fuck him to the end. We should also find a place to fix your room! Uh you're right. Well, we're here. You're, yes, yes, I can, absolutely. I can, pay, I can pay for it. Um, that's all right. I. No, a you spent an arm and a leg. True. Let me pay for the repair for your broom. You're such a gentleman. Fine. Okay. We'll deal with the broom. We'll probably go we'll together, like as a group. Yeah. Once, like everybody's. I don't know how long they're going to stay up there. So. Uh, yeah. I was going to some words yeah. out of them. Yes. Okay. So, um, you guys would pass by a smithy. Is there any other place you would like to try to explore to fix your broom, or do you want to try the smithy first? You would know more about where to fix magic items than uh, I would. All right, to the magic <laughs> depot. To the magic shop! <laughs> to Fantasy Costco. <laughs> Roll for investigation to find any sort of arcana shop or anything. Can I help? Sure. Please, thank you. For magic blowy shit. No. Just, uh, just see what building is exuding the most aware We're magic. passing by yeah. the blacksmith. Once and more, Warren I remind just... you that if you don't instinctively roll and give advantage to someone else, sometimes that's better. Mm -hmm. 16. Um, that is true. Okay. Hey, um, best roll of the day. There would be a small 
magic shop here. Um, as you guys are like walking through the center of the town, um, you would see kind of like off to the side near kind of like where the, uh, there's like the plateau and there's a larger, like taller plateau off to like the side kind of nestled in between some trees. Um, you would see almost kind of like a rundown shop. Um, it seems almost abandoned. It's a very kind of like makeshift wooden, almost shack more than it is a building. Um, you see a sign that's kind of like barely hanging on um, from like a tree branch, just like hanging down lopsided um, and very like scratched in words. Um, you would just see um, the blue, <laughs> the blue shell Say nothing, say nothing, Sorry. say nothing, say nothing. Oh. Yeah. I didn't think of that. It's fine. I just, Editing that's me. Why Take that out. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Just rechange, you know, the entire name of that. Nah. What the fuck was that? Door. Oh. Josiah. It's your sign. Door. This magic shop is now called the magic shop, but shop is uh, S H O P P E. I was gonna say P P E. And it's very like, like scratched or scrawled into the wooden sign. That's what it's called now. Well. So those should we at least try? It's worth it. Look, sometimes the like the sketchiest places kind of have like the more unique and obscure items. Yeah, I mean for cheaper price. I mean, you talked with a crazy mad scientist person. That was more of like laughing along in the fear of my own life as I got dynamite strapped to my arm. Oh, it paid off. Well, no time like the present. All the right, but let's go. Let's go to the yep. magic. The, the, is that word spelled correctly? Uh, magic. Magic. Sh- let's just hope sh- that they're better at repairing magic sh- items and spelling. Shopping. There are shops spelled like that. I know. This is giving the the fucking the tavern the the predid digit. Predid yeah, let's just, let's just go on. Let's just go. I don't pers- I don't want to stare at the sign any longer. They chose that. Okay. I may right. I may not be the best at spelling, but that seems wrong. <laughs> yeah. As you guys open the door, um, you open it and you feel it kind of like getting really heavy as you open it before. <laughs> Like Give you me. see the Give hinges have just broken off and it's like Give. hanging on only because you're Jesus. holding on to it. So like lift the door a little. Fuck. <laughs> As you open it up, there's no light in here apart from the natural light that's beaming in from the doorway. Um, you see there are magical items in here that are all strewn about yeah. this shack of a place. There is no organization whatsoever. Most things are just kind of like in a neat pile on the floor. Um, you see at the Yay. end, at like this ca- wooden counter, um, you would first notice someone is slumped over, tall pointy yeah. ears, greasy black hair, long all over the counter. This person's face oh, is in the counter, um, their arms kind of like slumped over and a ornate bottle opened right beside them. Uh, um, excuse me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. clears throat> Are you guys open? Morning, yes. You see this greasy black haired elf with um, like stubble, like gross kind of like five o'clock shadow stubble on his face as he like <clears throat> wakes up. You see like raccoon eyes, like black bags under his eyes. Um, and he just like lifts up his head, like shocked that someone's like stumbled in here and just goes, morning, we're open. Yes. <laughs> Hi, um, sorry to disturb you. I was wondering if- Do you- I was wondering if you do repairs. 
I have this. I have this broom. And I, a piece of of chip course, off. I do repairs. If my name isn't Drexy Manifest the Third, Drexy, Drexy. <laughs> Rexy manifest. manifest the, the third. third. To be specific. <laughs> Please, what item do you have for Drexy to fix? Mm. I um, uh, I have this broom. Oh, and... <laughs> broom of flying. I haven't seen those in ages. Do me, bring me to Yes, as you can see, the the tip was just recently broken off. What in the it's, god did you do to this? Uh, How could you ruin such a beautiful item? I... Uh, to, to be fair, you know, you know Rift Walkers, right? Uh-huh. How they have, like, the void face and the Sure, I've with... heard of them, yeah. I've never seen one? Not in my lifetime. Would you believe us if we say that we encountered, like, a Rift Dragon? Mm. Hey. I, <laughs> I just make the alarm in my fucking quarterstaff. <laughs> But, but, am I late for school? Oh my god. Are you, Where am you I? fine, Drexy? Oh, yes. Hello. Please continue. Jesus Christ. I got broken by a rift dragon that just happened to summon like a rift storm <laughs> out of the fucking blue. I know, I know. You're making things up. I can just fix it for you. It's really okay. It's uh, not an issue. Uh, yes, um. No, of course. I'm just an extravagant storyteller. <laughs> Yes, I can um, see that from what you're wearing. You look like an amazing storyteller, yeah, but I'm not in the business of stories. I'm in the business of can you just purveying fix, magic can you, items. Can you fix the room? Um, of course, yes. Um, yes. Mm. What would the price and estimated time be? Oh well, you see, this is not any normal wood. Actually, this comes from a special tree in efflorescence, if I do say so myself. Yes, that actually looks like a mystical oak wood in efflorescence, actually grown near throne itself in these bristles on the. Room itself can I, too. Can I insight check? Sure, you <laughs> definitely can. Hey guys, I just remember the fact that I have the spell mending. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> feels like a good time to mention that, but <laughs> this guy knows what he's, he's talking about. He really knows his wood. Actually, what he's saying, you genuinely believe him. He seems like he knows what he's talking about. I'm not stumbling on his words or anything. Um, seems to be very focused on the broom itself. Um, he would actually point out that the wood almost seems to be like intertwined together. Um, and so <clears throat> where it's like shattered, you can see um, almost kind of like how string starts to like um, fray at the end. That's what this broom is like, the wood, what's happening to it. So um, he brings over like this jar of this like milky white viscous liquid. Um, and there's like this stick inside of it. And he pulls it out and goes, all right, let me just apply some here. Okay. Is how much it was. And if we just attach it. Give it a little twist. And then let me grab my wand. He like turns around and just, what did I put it? You just hear a lot of clink 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 Oh, there it is. You see him like pull it out of a bottle. Um turns back around and you hear him just chant this incantation just The wood starts to like mend itself and like hold on to each other, uh, latching itself, and it fixes. Good is new. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Mm. There it is. Well, uh, I am the grandson of the Manifest family, so it's in my nature to be. Hold that thought. Oh, it's quite a pedigree. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Dry heaving nothing, actually. I hold. Forgive me for not using this broom on that. Okay, we're good. Um, how yes. much was the quote for that? Hmm? How much was this repair? Oh, well, for the ointment and for uses of energy, magical energy, and because you damage such a high quality item, that's going to be a thousand gold pieces. A thousand gold? Why, yes. It's complete 
fucking robbery. <laughs> did you not see what I did? Yeah, yeah, it was very impressive, Mr. B- 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 the Third. Yeah. Drexel <laughs> manifest the Third. You stumbled on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, forgive me. I can't. It's been a day. Mm. You know, being chased by Rift Dragons and whatnot. I was with the Rift Dragons again. Like, in all my years, I never heard of such an absurd thing. Yeah. <laughs> Rift Dragons. <laughs> There's no one there. Yeah. If, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. Is that okay? <laughs> I just. Ooh, I mean, you can leave. Just you would have to leave this item here. Ah. <laughs> How much did you pay for it? I mean, mending the things. I mean, if you've come to me of all people, I mean, obviously you're in need of this. So I think my services are... Um, well, you know. I like mean, seven, if I, I like do... Like 70 or 50. I mean, if I do kind of recall... I, this wood comes from the oak of effervescence. I mean, to of be fair, course. but you didn't have to get the wood. Right, but I didn't mend it. Not anyone could just mend this wood. It takes an elf to do it. Bullshit. You know, I do... You would call bullshit on an elf. I do know... I would, in <laughs> fact, actually. I actually do know someone from F. Lorenzis who is a master mender, but, you know, <gasps> he was quite busy at the moment. Why? I am insulted. And he's not even an elf. You... Who are not even? <laughs> yeah, you chip. Run! <laughs> I'm actually. As he like slips and like falls down, you just hear bottles just. <laughs> I am fucking. Run! I am washing myself. Yep. Run. Gone. You who are not even. <laughs> this is why you're broke, Drexy. <laughs> you just like drop a couple gold and bid. <laughs> no. Give like a tip. No. <laughs> no. Like a tip. Was there no. like any? Motherfucker wanted to set, spend, charge us thousand gold for a cantrip. <laughs> to be fair, I do. Was there like any glasses laying out? Magic yes. energy. Manifesto the third. So. Any glasses? Like glasses. Like for glasses. No. Like glasses. Aviators oh. of sun vision. Mm. No. I was gonna be like, I pull out, I was gonna pull out the bottle of vodka that I still had like a third uh, left, pour him a drink, and then just like, like make it like the slide <laughs> sound really obvious, and then just. T- <laughs> you just leave the vodka bottle there. Like, where does it come from? Just forgets the entire thing. You know experience. what? <laughs> just before we leave, just. Boom! And then. <laughs> And it's that. Hey, as he like picks himself back up, I'm just gonna. <laughs> you, the, you just the vodka bottles there, and he just sees you run out and just. Uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> You're a better person than I am. You know, I just didn't want him like finding us later. I would uh, rather him not remember this and like entire encounter. Yeah. So I left. Unfortunately, left him the good stuff. But you know, hopefully, it knocks him on his ass a little bit to just not remember. Yeah, you really come in clutch with those last-minute genius moves. Okay. <laughs> just... Now to an inn. I. I mean, to be fair, when you do sticky. carry around the the. Sticky. The amount of stuff that I do, uh, that comes in handy sometimes. All right, you guys head away no. from the magic shop to the inn, and I will pause to wash off bug guts. Okay, so you guys suit. travel to this um, mid-sized uh, inn and tavern. Um, the sign on it saying the Sea Foam Inn. So. Um, even though it has like the red roofing around it or on top of it, um, this building is 
is wooden. It has like seashells kind of like adorned to it. Um, different sort of like sailor's equipment kind of strewn about to give it sort of like a seaside aesthetic to it. Um, on the sign itself, it is painted um, blue and on the bottom has like sea foam on it to give it sort of a nice design. Uh, entering inside, you would see that it's quite busy. Um, people are sharing meals and drinks. Um, the smell of cooked fish kind of like wafts through the air. Um, as well as kind of like um, ale and beer. Um, a lot of sailors are taking like kind of like their time in the midday to get their meals. A um, lot of different, uh, colorful folk, I guess, around here. Uh, you would see halflings, half elves, tieflings, dragonborns, uh, seem to be the majority of the people, our population, races making up the population in this um, area. So. Um, you would see that this place is ran by two half elves. Um, wants to be shorter with dark spiky hair with broader features, while the other one is taller with straight, medium length, like blonde hair and sharper features. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Yeah, I guess I go up to the reception desk. Mm -hmm. uh, there's more so like it's like an inn slash tavern. So there's like an innkeeper okay. um, where he would be standing like behind the like bar area while the other one is kind of like acting as a waiter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should we uh, get the drinks <clears throat> for our friends too? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So one, two, three, four. I want that. Or do you want the... You want to share them? I mean, I guess... Yeah, why not? <laughs> I guess you could see what the price is. I mean, five, I guess, five rooms independently, but Ambrose. Well, McCallum Ambrose share room. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. Um, yeah, possibly. Just see. Let's just let's just see what they're asking for. Let's go check. <sighs> Good day. Oh, hello, travelers. Welcome. What can I do you for? Yeah, we were hoping to get a few rooms. Uh, what are the rates? Oh, for rooms? Yes. Um, well, individual rooms go for uh, seven silver a piece. If you're looking to double up on it, um, that would be a gold and a half. Oh. I, I can pay for the rooms. Oh, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Larger rooms come with more features, uh, vanity, uh, bathtub, that sort of stuff. Oh, Single rooms come with just simple features, bed, cupboard. Um, closet, sorry. Two yeah, doubles be. and then one single. All right, very good. Excellent. So that's uh, three gold mm. and seven silver. How much? Three gold, seven silver, please. Okay. Um, I can as cover at least one of those golds. Since I didn't get to pay for your room. Sorry, I pay for this. pardon me, you two. Um, you seem kind of like looking over to the side and like craning his neck around, um, looking out towards the entrance. Sorry, no pets allowed in here. Sorry, um, you're gonna have to take that thing outside. As you turn around, uh, you would see a kobold who walks in wearing like noble clothing and uh, beside him is a mastiff with a saddle on it. <laughs> and he walks in Mount. and he goes, sorry, no no pets, no animals allowed. Um, and the kobold looks like genuinely confused and going, sorry, I don't know what you mean. Pets, I have no pets here. Your dog. Oh, oh, Gabriel, you're gonna have to stay outside. <laughs> oh my God, all the knights here are just mastiffs. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Uh, just no pets allowed in here. Uh, we've had some issues in the past. So, anyways, three gold, seven silver. Very good, thank you. All right, here are the two keys for the doubles and one for the single. Thank, thank you, you so thank you. much. Of course. If you need anything else, uh, just let me or my friend know. Um, my name is Quillen, by the way. Uh, that one in the blonde hair is Laoris. Mm -hmm. Quillen? Not Quillen. My name is Quillen. I just. I went. Oh, what are the names again? <laughs> Quillen and Laoris. Quillen and Laoris. Oh, Quillen. What? I'm so sorry. <sighs> 
of the sea foam oh. in. Okay, I thought that's what you said, uh-huh. but I was terrified. I, I see foam. Oh. I got it. Don't worry. All right, so about this time, as they've traveled around the town, gone to the shop and to the inn, uh, your hour would be up if you want to start traveling through the town. <laughs> okay, so hour's up. Is I- the night still there? Yup. Yeah, boy, what a nice <laughs> break. Still uh, enjoying the weather. Mm. You're gonna be here tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Well, hopefully I'll see you around then. Mm. I'm gonna head down. You uh, have a good one there. Alright. Careful, don't get sunburned. <laughs> don't want any awkward tan lines. Yep, I'm going. <laughs> so, both Maybe of you, you guys um, would walk down to the um, the gates of Furwyven and would get the same greeting as Ornan and Mirage. The guard just kind of like looking down, smiling, waving at you, uh, welcoming you to Furwyven. As you enter, you see the same thing as Mirage and Ornan did. Kind of a quaint coastal town. Um, kind of embedded into like these massive tunnels, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah. So, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing right there. It's a solid question. Um, do we know where we went? Ocean? I don't know. Um, Solid. When are we going there? What? When are we going there? Where? I don't know. I. I was worried about where our friends are. Well, yes. No, I'm also incredibly curious to know where they are. I just um, something is a little bigger. My interest is peaked. Okay, that's you a could lot have worded that a thousand times better. What? That my interest is peaked. Yep. All right. What? Wait. No. Hey. Actually, I don't get it. That went right over my. No, please, Dara. I don't want to feel fucking stupid. You are. Dara. It's Ambrose with us, or? Yeah. Where the fuck's Ambrose? In Ambrose. my pocket. There you go. <laughs> where is he? Pocket Ambrose. He's with us. Pocket Ambrose. I usually just assume he's around my shit because I'm usually the one that goes, ha, this fucker, and just... <laughs> but what is... Wait, what? what? Don't worry about it. I am now worried. That's fine. Ambrose. I'm going to move on with my day. So, uh, ocean or friends? It's up to you. There's a very high chance that ocean is where friends. <laughs> Maybe... Um, maybe friends and then ocean, so that ocean together with friends. Okay, what do you think our friends are? Is there a guard nearby? I'm gonna flip a coin. Yes. Can I approach him? Um, excuse me, uh, weird question, looking for some friends. Have you seen a orc and a female sorceress? Big orc. Oh, yes. Uh, they first went over to the magic shop, and then they went to the inn and tavern. Amazing. The brewery, Thank you. Probably in the brewery. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah okay, Let's right. head over to the inn and okay. magic shop. Okay. You don't want to go into the Thank magic you. shop. Thank you. Of course. Have a nice day. You as well. So yeah, uh, you we'll head over to the inn. Okay. Um... Mmm. Cal, make a perception check. Perception. 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 I hope this doesn't have to do with anything written on my character sheet. <laughs> well. It's written on your character Uh-oh. sheet. Uh-oh. Well. Mmm. <laughs> my perception has not been good today. No. Uh, six. He didn't see. No. I already told him that. Sorry. <laughs> Again! 20! 
<laughs> that was Ambrose's perception check. <laughs> okay, the first so... one was Ambrose's. The second one was mine. Brilliant. Yeah, Ambrose <laughs> would walk up to you um, close by. I think some of the guards are giving you some weird looks. Okay, Aw, Jamie. Yes! <laughs> what? Because, like... Because I'm pretty or some shit? What, do I got toilet paper hanging out my pants? What's the... I mean, you might as well for the shit you've stirred. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so don't look at me. Oh no, I'm just looking at you so that I don't look at him anymore because okay. if I keep looking at him, I'm going to hit him. But. Shut. <laughs> Fuck! I it was speak kind of truth. funny. <laughs> no. No, it no, wasn't. You can't. You are three seconds away from bursting out laughing in anger at how funny that was. No, I'm sorry. I should be a comedian. You should. Or a bard. No. Career change? No. <laughs> what? So... Yeah, people are looking at me weird. Whatever, they're not doing anything about it, so it's fine. Yeah. They're Probably because they're scared of you. Ignore them and okay. they'll stare at us. Yeah. Hey, there are worse things to look at. Mm -hmm. There are better things to look at. Very true. Very true. Oh my fucking god! What do you Daily! Expect? Daily with you! You are the one who put you, yourself into this position. For one, you. that. But two, we're in an ocean city. Sea city. Mm hmm. The sea? Pretty. Period. Have you seen yourself lately? I. Wow. I wow, <laughs> that tickled me. What uh, great help, Ambrose? What's wrong with me right now? What's up? What's icky? You might be a little covered in bug guts. You did kind of punch him. Uh, yeah. And I did like mirage him with it. Yeah, there's yeah. some blood. A yeah, quick bath, you'll be fine. I don't know. Back to ten out of ten. Hey, to some people, this is good. It's rugged. You know? You've got, yeah, all right, I'll give you that one. Some people like rugged men, I don't know. I, I, uh, Sure. I'm gonna bite my tongue on that one. All right. I mean, we do have Ornin with us. I guess some people might, well. <laughs> Anyways, the Yeah, end. let's go find our friends. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So, um, you three would walk into the inn and would see Ornan and Mirage um, purchasing rooms for you all. Oh, look! A rugged man! Careful, Ornan! He's gonna climb you like a fucking tree! The innkeeper, like, would look past you guys and then kind of, like, narrow his eyes Jesus. for a bit. Um, hmm. And then all of a sudden, the blonde-haired half-elf would run up beside him and kind of like take him by the shoulder and like whip him around. You would hear them like aggressively like whispering to each other. Exactly. Um, you two, what are your passive perceptions? Eleven. Thirteen. What well, depends? Not you, just these two. Oh, sorry. I looked at the mist. None of you would hear anything. Oh, mother bear. Um. But the they would turn back around. Um, the one with the spiky black hair would kind of like offer you like a smile before it like fades away quickly. Uh, the other one looks past you and just kind of like scowls and just kind of like, <clears throat> fine. And he like storms away. And um, Dara, Macau, Ambrose, you guys standing there, this half elf marches right up to you guys and then looks directly at you, Macau, and goes, you're gonna have to leave. I'm sorry, we cannot serve you. You need to leave. I, I do, do not want any trouble. Do we hear this? At Most this point? likely. Yeah. Is there a problem? Yeah, what, uh, yeah. what, what what's going on? 
Mm-hmm. Who are you speaking to? Are you speaking to Quillen or the one that's Leoris? up in Macau okay. shit? That's Leoris, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm talking to Leoris. Yeah, because I'd be standing right next to Macau. Yeah. What seems to be the problem? That's the ditch digger. Uh-huh. Do you was. He, he was is he, doesn't matter. He got it the does. pardon. You have a reputation. He got you a can pardon. Or oh, then. Oh, no. Yelling isn't going to fix it. We may just have to respect this one. I can just find somewhere else to stay. That's all, that's all good. Thank you. Yep. He just kind of waits for you to leave. And I will walk aside. <clears throat> Sorry. You would do yourselves favors to get updated information. I'm going to step outside. No, you know he's right about that one. No one knows shit about, about my shit at this point. All I know it's understandable. that that person is or was the ditch digger, a serial killer, mind you, and we do not want them in our establishment. Sorry if we do not want serial killers here. Also a part of a very, very bad organization as well was a part of but it's not with us and that also was- doesn't matter was that name that title is still over their head and we will not be serving them in this establishment i hope you would understand as business owners what that you could see through our eyes at least right I'm not in the mood for fighting right now. Let's... Can you try to find Macau? We'll get another place to stay. Yeah, I already stepped outside. I'm with Macau. Mm-hmm. Uh, you should probably get a refund on the room. They yeah. Booked for <laughs> yeah. <sighs> we can, can we refund one of those rooms? We got one of those rooms for those two. I suppose so. Thank you. Which room would you like to refund? One of the doubles. All right. Hands back to gold. Gets the key back from you guys. Might I ask why you would keep such bad company? Well, to be fair, he's not bad company. Um, It's actually been quite helpful around as we've been solving shit in Lost Minger and heading to Ocelia, because I- have you heard of the shit that's been going down in Lost Minger right now? With the Ambassador Curie? I've heard of a few things, but we here in Furwyven like to keep our noses out of that kind of business if we can. Well, recently gone to shit, and um, we've actually been going around and trying to solve that whole ordeal. Shutting the fuck A up. very tall tale. Maybe you should become a bard. Mm-hmm. Can we leave now? Yeah, let's get changed. Yeah, let's, let's go. Wash, let's wash up and let's wash up and change. I need to get this stuff off of me. Let me see you. Okay. Just head toward the room. Okay, very good. This hospitality is shit. Let's just move past it. Um, Macau, um, we may find it in our best interest to stay outside of town. Yeah, probably. Um, I can hook me and you up with a tiny hut if they want to stay in town. <laughs> Maybe. I did, eh. I mean, we could try to see if there's something else. Uh, at the very least, we can look around. And if they also say no, then okay, we have uh, we have backup plan. That was my leg. <laughs> Sorry about that. It just a piston just fucking <laughs> misfired. <laughs> oh shit! But all right. But um, at the very least, we get to look around some more. And if they say no, we have hot time. I mean, from the rate we're going, I have. 
little help. Yeah. But I will gladly try and... Because unfortunately you do have a bit of a reputation. Sure do. Um... Yeah, also, I mean, it's not that late, right? Like, we don't need to go to sleep anytime soon. Yeah, we're good for now. So, I mean... It's definitely, like, afternoon, I've, evening. I haven't been kicked out of the it's town. It's borderline evening, kind of-ish. Still afternoon. I haven't been kicked Sundown out of... Sundown at the beach. Like yeah. So, like, uh, my time. If, uh, you know, it's whatever. It's not, but I understand what you're getting at. Okay. Like I said, we'll get through this. I can get us food always. Uh, should we wait for them to... Yeah, we'll wait for them. Okay. Just and if any of the guards massive. cause us problems, then <clears throat> we will find somewhere else to be. Yeah, sounds good to me. I don't want to cause additional problems, but I don't want to make anyone else deal with it. Yeah. Alright. I'll, I'll post up on the wall and wait. I would look a bit friendlier. I'm not trying to be an ass. I'm relaxed. Uncross the arms. Crossing your arms is I don't very hostile have... posture. You want I... me to just stand up against the wall like this? No, don't stand against the wall. To... I will I... sit down with my legs crossed. There you go. And and cross my arms and lean back against the... And look like I'm resting. No, once it's again, crossing the arms is hostile we'll take body it. language. And the legs. You have to it's... open your legs and yeah. open your arms. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Very easy for me to do. <laughs> it, it's body language. It, open, open body, body language. means friendly. It, is the open Mastiff still pieces. outside? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> What was his Go name? put the dog. I didn't, I don't Go know put the dog. I didn't hear it. Put the dog. You would actually, the wall you're standing by, there's like a small water truck that is just like. It's a big dog. Big good boy. boy. Good boy. All right. <laughs> I will put my hands in my lap and lean against the wall while I sit down. With my uh. legs crisscross applesauce and therefore slightly Like a kindergartner? <laughs> like a kindergartner. Um, I know that we're excited about the sea, but this is the town. If we haven't thought. No! Yeah. I'm just putting that out there. Well, not well, man. Yeah, we're already hated here and we're about oh, to right. cause yeah. problems for sin. No, we're not. Here, these people just have an opinion based on information that they have received. It's wrong. And regardless of the uh, differences in paths taken and uh, moral wars waged within, um, unfortunately, they don't get to see the change. They don't get all that. Uh, so. Yeah. I want to be mad, but I really can't. I can't! Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, we'll figure something out. Yeah. We're adults. And yet, the child is off the leash. But, alright. I guess we'll wait for mm-hmm. a rash to be changed out of ick. Alrighty, so wash it up. I'm okay. like guard like outside the room, like next to the door. Okay. Just sitting down. Very good. Making sure that no one tries to come <sighs> fuck with our room. Sure. As you're like standing outside the door, you hear from like the room across you some rustling and like giggling. And then all of a sudden, the door just... And this, like, small, this, um, thin... Oh, wrong one. There's no way. Sorry. This thin halfling, um, wearing, like, with, like, tribal tattoos all up the arms and, like, on her abs. She's wearing kind of, like, a, like, crop top almost. Um, with like baggy, almost kind of like ninja pants with this um, Fuck yeah. red, or not red, green and orange kind of like pattern tabard in front of her. Um, she has like 
messy orange hair with one of them, which is like braided by her ear. Um, you see her holding like this sack as she like tiptoes out and closes the door and you hear like, <laughs> Hey, what's you got then? I was just grabbing some stuff from my room. Mm-hmm. You wanna just, uh, just stand up over? She starts like sidestepping. I just... stand up to my wall. Whoa, I was just grabbing stuff from my room. I'm going down to the, the beach. Inside check. Inside. Go ahead. 11. Um, she seems like she's being truthful. Those are, uh, those are terrible tattoos, right? They are, yes. What, what, are you a part of any tribe? No. Anyway. Do any of them look familiar in any sort of way? Roll a history check. God! Yeah? Is <laughs> Nope, do not look familiar. And she begins to like sidestep like against the wall, just. <laughs> I'm gonna try to snatch the bag from her hand. Oh, okay. We're Slide a fan. Add yes. Fifteen. Fifteen works as she tries to like sidestep you. You snatch the bag out of her hand. Hey, that's mine. Give it back. And she's like, <laughs> for some reason, I really don't believe you. Like you seemed like you were telling the truth, but then it was just something. Okay, about okay, okay. Your manner is fine. Easy. Fine, you caught me. Wasn't actually my room in there. So shocking. It's my mother's room and she sent me to get stuff for her. Go on and look in there. You'll just see like supplies, like bars of soap and stuff. Clothes. Go on and look. You'll see how big of a jerk you are. Just leave it. You can do it, bro. I'm like, I'm being like, that's not my responsibility. <laughs> and I just dropped the bag. She goes up and like, as you drop the bag, she kind of like goes to grab it and like pulls your hand down as well. And, like, and she's like, oh, so sorry. She starts tiptoeing back. Thank you. Turns around. Yep. That's not a- That's, that's not a shrug. That's a, that's a really bad, that's a really bad. Check your fucking fingers. Check your fucking hand, bro. Something ornate that was once on there is yep. now missing. I'm gonna book it. Go get that fucker. I'm gonna book it. Was it a lady? Huh? Was it a lady? You don't know. Oh no, no, this did, is this is did, Jamie asking. Did I? Because I don't want to miss Jamie's how, character. Yes, it is. How long was Get that this in? bitch! How long was this interaction? Get her ass. Not long. A um, couple minutes, maybe, if even. I'd like so, to expend a hit die. Okay. To use my sanction set to find your zone. ring. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, you are able to lock on to where she is. Um, you can like see her like scent trail going down the stairs uh, through the main room, and then like you see her like busting open the like doors and just. Are they outside? <laughs> Standing near the yeah. walls, yeah. yeah. You guys would hear, boom! <laughs> and this orange haired <laughs> halfling just. That's weird. Yeah. Oh. What the fuck? A few seconds later, boom! Orin comes busting through. Fuck. You fuck up! Do I need the. Yes! God. The cow is gone! Do I? Yes! <laughs> okay. I'm so fucking fast that this bitch is short. You Half, can bump those legs, knees to chest. Halflings are twenty. They're twenty-five. 
feet movement. S- standard, yes. Yeah, there standard are ways to augment that. A lot. I'm at 45, and I have step of the wind. So yeah, she starts just like booking it, and she is going to try to um, slip into the crowd. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, you can go ahead to... and try to roll perception as you're chasing her as she tries okay. to slip into the crowd. And then I'm just following because oh, yeah. it's my. You don't have to. Scent, you don't yeah. have to roll anything. You know. Yeah, I'm fast. I'm fast. just like. Uh, fourteen. You do find her. Uh, she is trying to slip through the crowd, but it's not working. So uh, as she like turns around, and you. How are you chasing her? <laughs> I'm running like a normal person. <laughs> okay. Just very fast. Uh, <laughs> and then I want intimidatingly. To, I want to like. We're depending on the space that we're in, like with the crowd and stuff. I want to go around mm-hmm. her if possible because okay. I, don't, I don't know like what her movement speed is. I, I don't want to like, you know. She's pretty fast. But um, I want to try to like get in front of her and just like stop her from moving. Sure, roll athletics. Come on, baby girl. Eleven. Why did it have to be athletics? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> as she's like, I hate athletics. <laughs> um, like a couple of guards like walk in her path, and as she's like watching you, she like turns around, and just. Poosh, poosh. Oh shit! Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, as she wait, goes wait, to like, did you throw up something? As she goes to run, you. <laughs> oh no! Into the guards, I thought. Okay. And she goes. Who the fuck? Hi. Uh. You took something you that doesn't s- belong You see her, to you. like, shoveling, like, <laughs> ornate jewelry and, like, coins, like, in the bag. Just yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hold on. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Ornan. Be like, food! Shh, shh, shh. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to try to, like, sneak her away. I want to try to get her out. Oh, wait, I'm like, I see it, and I'm like, can, can I roll perception to kind of <laughs> catch on? I'm just like, stop. Sure. Yeah, we know what's going on. I, I, was, I, just, I look up and I, I see Ornan running and I go, come on. Come on. Okay, like, okay, I, just, okay. I make it very obvious. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I start running with her until we get to a spot where we can like hide from Ornan, which mm-hmm. is the goal. Okay. Yeah. You like dip behind a building or like something into an alleyway. <sighs> what is this? <laughs> Where did you get the, what is all, what's all that shit? Ah, oh, it looks really good on me. Hey, thanks for your help, by the way. Yeah, 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 and she yeah, yeah. like, like tries to pat you on the shoulder, but I like s- misses and it's like your arm. Yeah, this is all cool things. Um, what, where did you get all of that? My mom's house. It's for my brother. Listen, if you stole it, that's fine. I would never steal anything. Why are you accusing me of stealing stuff? Being a little sneaky, and that's totally okay with me. I'm running away from that brute of a thing. It's fucking massive. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking huge. Understand it. I'm just like around the corner, like I'm just, just like stopped in my tracks, and it's kind of like <laughs> yeah. because I still have the sun trail, so I'm just like. <laughs> the beeper is just. <laughs> <laughs> the radar. Uh, I'm trying to say super chill, like did you um, did you did you take something from me? And I'm being, by the way, I'm being so genuine because first of all, yes, I want to get his, his ring back, but also that's funny that he got fucked. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm so serious. I, his ring might've slipped off oh. and fell into my hand and I <laughs> might've just taken off of it. You know, if you're- It was really, an accident. If you if, if something falls into your hand, that's yours now, you get to keep it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Crazy how that works. And I want to try to, pick her up and like grab the ring and shake her to, like so it's like oh it's falling off I don't want it grapple check <laughs> oh it's falling off into okay, your hands oh, it's athletic your hands. athletics against her acrobatics oh or athletics. that's despicable that is exactly how grappling works though no four on the die. Okay, nice. so as you go to like try to pick her up, she sees your arms like outstretched and she, you see her like eyes light up and she like charges you and like wraps her arms around you and like gives you a hug and goes, thank you for helping me. I think I gotta go now. 
And as she like steps back, you feel lighter Lighter. and you see the belt that you had is now on her. Yeah, that's fine. Bye. I'm already. I'm just gonna. I'm I'm following. I'm following. following. I just appear from the behind the building. I'm like, you fucker. (laughs) Boom. And I start charging after her. I'm I'm in the pursuit. I'm gonna try to lasso her. Okay, sure. Cause I've I've had my rope into a lasso. Sure, make yeah. an attack with disadvantage. Cause we're moving. And that is not a weapon you're proficient. Lasso is not a weapon you're proficient in. I just. I mean, technically I, yes. I. Lasso is not technically a weapon, but it's. it's an improvised. Barbarians are can considered a proficient with all weapons. Okay. Correct, but I think lasso it would be considered more of like an improvised weapon, it, unless it we would, would be, consider it net. It would be like a grapple. Except what I'm trying to. I am aware. Yeah, I, I know you're trying to grapple, but mm-hmm. it, it, at best, it would probably be considered the closest to a net. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Understandable. Valid argument. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll accept that. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Roll normally. I'm so fucking fast and small and short and... So how does a 26 sound? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Why um, are you the one with the fucking wrist watch of I can't miss? <laughs> yeah, you lasso onto this halfling and as you like pull oh. back, she just goes <laughs> and like falls back onto the ground. She I'm just tries gonna to like, tie the rope around her. Ow, 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 ow! Hey! Hold on. You, here's you're what's going to happen. Do your thing. I'm going to shout, no, I'm not doing my thing. I'm going to shout huh? for the guards. Huh? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey it's okay. No, you don't have to call okay. for the guards. You really okay. don't. Go. Everything's okay. Go! And then I just start walking. You back hear a platoon of guards just come around the corner. Sh- 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 I'm like, handle this amicably. <laughs> and then I start walking. We heard there. yelling. What's going on? She, she was in the, the seafoam inn and then took my ring and then just stepped out of this room with all of this stuff. Is it not hurt? I, I, I did. <laughs> um, Give just, me my fucking ring we're back. We're having a minor dispute. Sorry, this is my half brother. Um, half so, brother, my ass. You're not even from a guess you shit. Hey, listen, just because dad didn't love you, it's okay. I came to just stop by and say hi. And oh, I'm so sorry for all this, really. It's just a family dispute. Um, yes, I came to return your ring. I have it in my bag in there. Open it up! All that yes, stuff is for you. Yes, I know that you. you have my fucking ring. Yes, I came to return. I'm so sorry again. I came to return it to you. What type of fucking bullshit is this? The guards just kind of like look confused at this point. They're like not sure what to make of it. For the love of God, Cory. Be brutal. <laughs> Be <laughs> honest. Thief! Thief! You're a fucking thief! What else do you want me to say about this shit? Make a persuasion check. Natural 20. Hey, Jesus. You saw that in real life. I did. Real time. I can't argue with that. I mean. You're just changing. They look back down at the halfling who like turns over and just. Also what a <laughs> bullshit. Like, oh, was that, oh dispute. <laughs> like so frantic. <laughs> so you. We'll handle this. Um, Can I at least have the ring and the belt back? Yes, it's in the bag. Hey, I take it out of her fucking bag. Okay, the ring is in the bag. You hand that, and the belt is actually on her. I just... (laughs) Oh, right. I just wanted to try it on. Sorry. Um, Okay, listen. It's all just... You hush now. We will take care of this. Thank you. You're welcome. She just like... The stuff uh, goes back to the Seafoam Inn, by the way. It's um, my mother's. Our room is... No, 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 no
Right. Thank you. So well, that they get back to the right place. Of course. Thank you. We'll take care of it. No, thank you. Right. All right, young lady, you're coming oh, with oh, us. Oh, oh. <laughs> they like march as, her off. As, like, as I'm like walking the other way, just. <laughs> she like shoots her head back and you just. Mm. Oh. Oh, mm. That's that, that, as they're like pulling her away. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you recover the the ring and the belt that she stole from you. Okay, Mirage, what are you doing? All right, so I like I still I'm still assuming that Ornan is outside the room, so I'm just like kind of talking to make you sure do. that no one is oh. like like oh. hey, you know I'm I have my swimsuit, but I'm just gonna wear my casual stuff just in case because. Yeah, we still gotta find that Sin character as I like open, open the, the door. door. I'm not no there. one's there. Oh, I thought that like Sin was just gonna be right there. What? Mm. That would be horrifying. Cool, because I didn't know what the fuck do in that song. Moment. I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> Ornan? Ornan? I just like go and check out the room. Hello? No one's there. <laughs> All right, I'm running out of daylight. All right, and so I, I exit the inn. Okay, what are you doing? Tintara's mm. still out there with the basket. Yep. Oh. And Ambrose. Yeah, I'm just up against the wall, so. Oh. I wouldn't. Hey. My way Ambrose there. smiles and waves at you. There. There's so Ambrose. much context that I could provide you, but um, they'll be back. Oh. Oh. Okay. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Oh. We may have to leave this town if things don't go smoothly. Oh. We still gotta. Trust me, I know. <laughs> we may have to right. leave this town. You love the two beach up. episode. Worst yeah, beach just episode ever. Go to the beach. We get two beach episodes. <laughs> we get this one the next one. <laughs> okay. Beach episode point five and then one. <laughs> Sin be. I guess I'm just gonna be hanging out with Dara. There's a nice dog. Dog. Dog's been drinking water for like ten minutes and not entirely convinced it's a real dog. But <laughs> dude, that's um, uh, actually she needs water. <laughs> and I'm like, hey there, okay. buddy. There, there. <laughs> that's a that's a good. What am I looking at? Boy! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Alright! That's, that's a good boy. After some time, he just kind of like. He just kind of like waddles off. Well, oh. is something I said? Alright. I'd get back sooner than you because I started yeah. to walk and I was, yeah. I was like. Oh. <laughs> very casually. At some point, Ornan oh. and Macau would arrive back with you guys. Problem solved. Oh, thank God. A few moments oh. later. Oh, I got your belt. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. Hey, just checking out the town. Piece of uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> tiny thief. <laughs> ah. Yeah. As in, they stole a tiny amount, or they were tiny. a small. No, they stole a good them. amount for a tiny person. Oh. Yeah. Oh man. Even took my ring and their belt. Yeah. Oh, jeez, okay. But <laughs> got it sorted amicably. 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 Thank God. She Good. did try to play it off as that I was her half brother. What? Which really? is. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. <laughs> that doesn't even make a lick of sense. Like, genetically, that's not how that... <laughs> they really got the short yep. end of this. T- <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of Eve's children, come on. <laughs> oh. She is mother. 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 Wow. Yeah, it, it was it was kind of awkward because the guys really didn't know what to do. 
Yeah. See? I don't like guards. What? See? What? See? Question marks. S E A? Question mark. Oh. See? The sea. Let's go. 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 Sunset at the beach. Sunset at the beach. So, at the beach. you guys head over to the beach as the <laughs> sun just starts to set. So giving this guy a beautiful pink, orange, and green color. Green. Pink, orange, and blue. <laughs> <laughs> There's green now. Green. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise, green! Surprise, um, motherfucker! So, it is a nice, cool summer's evening as you guys head to the beach. The, like, golden white sand and the beautiful, like... Um, crystal blue water laps on the sea or on the beach and what do you guys want to do? You have time to just enjoy the beach? I want to go swimming. Let's okay. take off these fucking casual clothes. And... <laughs> yep. I am so fucking ready. Swimsuit. Let's let's party. Oh, yeah. um, I just oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, um... What an into the sea. What's up? My, my skin burns easily. Uh, can one of you get my back? God damn it. With ways. With what? It's, it's, it's a slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it up at the magic shop. Yes. Yeah, obviously. You have that lying around. Yes. No, sure. You heard the lady, her skin burns easily. I'm not just. And just a mason jar just appears in your hands. Yes, it's, yes, it's a lotion of s- solar resistance. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Lotion of That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Wait, wait, I was just wait. thinking like medieval containers. <laughs> That's not what I meant. It actually took me a while to be like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like what? That? I just, don't worry about it. Jeez. You know. <laughs> I, I have this lotion potion of oh. sun resistance. Lotion potion of sun <laughs> resistance. All, all hope since he's being a child about it. Cannon, um, you pass. <laughs> like, what the fuck did you Lotion say? Lotion potion of sun resistance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll help you, Eve. <laughs> And I will be, I'll be very gentle, delicate, and not inappropriate yeah. in any capacity, which is not what you would expect I, from a cow cheval, oh, but he's a very respectful gentleman. Oh my god, lotion oh. potion is sun resistance. Ah, oh, thank goodness. You know, monks are pretty good with their hands. <laughs> oh. Oh, Watch your mouth, miss. During this time, Ambrose oh, spends god. like 10 minutes, like, taking off his clothes and falling oh immediately god. on the grass, not on the sand. That is... That's me core. <laughs> <laughs> He like neatly folds his clothes. He puts his boots down and then his clothes on top of it, so his clothes don't get dirty yeah. on the ground. I'll, I'll fold up. My, it's a habit. We all fold up my stuff too and like set yeah. it near the same area. Cool. And, I'm in me clothes. Shirt, shirt just off. I'm in somewhere. Me <laughs> I'm in me undies. All right. My shirt somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Dara removes his skills to reveal the shirt, right? full body wetsuit. Pulls yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 some sunglasses and a circle yeah. from his ass. <laughs> and it's just so bad. I'm like the Dara, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All geez. of a sudden, as the shirt comes off, sunglasses appear. Yes. <laughs> like a Descending from the head. Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like like those old fucking yes. YouTube memes where it's like like pixels. <laughs> <and glasses. laughs> that is what Warren is wearing. He yes. just runs into the sea. Yeah. <laughs> As he's slow motion running into the sea, yes. it's, 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 just, it's just it's just Baywatch runs yeah. in. The sunglasses yeah. oh descend on his face. And he's just running into the water <laughs> towards the sunset. Yeah. And I picks up picks up a surfboard along the way. Yes. Steals it from some kid who's just like, <laughs> 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 he's just holding on to it. He's just yes. And so he's like, still, but he like gets kind of dragged with it, so he falls over, and there's a slow motion poof of sand yeah. <laughs> behind Dara. The sunlight his, gleaming on this hand. And the kid's legs, he like scorps. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it is Everyone, 
and now whenever Dara disrobes by the sea of fallen wet suit appears and sunglasses descend from the heavens and a kid appears with a surfboard and he steals it from the it's all in slow mo. This the is the best the speech episode ever. Huh? Like it's all happening in slow mo, but the rest of the world is in real time. <laughs> <laughs> We're just walking around. With like, the kid scorpions. <laughs> but he's also in slow motion. Like, hey, what's up? There's like rubbers directly involved with that in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. And so Miguel like grabs sand and like throws it at him, and it just. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and at that point, when you like start like running to the ocean, just pe- floaties appear like right in front of you, you slink your arms into them, and like dive and in the I slink me through the floor. <laughs> then all of a sudden, the floaty appears. So you jump in, you slink in the floor. How I see this like um, animation cinematic playing out is the camera's face towards Dara, so everything's happening in like a blurry background, and then the cow just appears on screen, just what? diving <laughs> forward. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and the outside oh, camera's perspective was like it in regular time. <laughs> and I'm just like staring at this super buff <laughs> green half orc man. And you're like, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Man, I, I really oh, hope your is not a traitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would make things very that would be, uh, easy. Like an me. iron sword <laughs> gleaming in the sunlight. It's just uh, ordnance skin just <laughs> shing. <laughs> oh, you okay. see the, sh- the, 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 the sunlight patches, bouncing off his abs. The, <laughs> the, 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 the so patch of skin that's like definitely a different, different color. Yeah. 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 It's shiny, so yeah. as he's running that one part of skin, it's just like, Shing! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like really. Oh, it isn't really hot out here. I gotta get in some water. Take it now. I gotta join him. Anyway, I'm gonna go stand and go get in the water. Yep. <laughs> I dives and then just cuts to you, just, beep, <laughs> just ankle deep in the water. I'm just completely dry, too. <laughs> yeah. No, it's me, yep. mid, like I'm in the air and then just. <laughs> like cancel animation. You die, but you miss the water. <laughs> you stay on the sand. Oh, yeah. The cow scorpions. <laughs> <laughs> and then the hermit crab just starts tugging at his nose ring. The little chain. It's like ooh, right. uh, oh, All right, so Dara starts uh, boogie boarding. <laughs> and I'm just dolphining. I was not the one who came up with this design. No, I am Hold in on, my I need fucking, to pull up the art again. Element. At this point, you just need to show the art. <laughs> I am the Leviathan. <laughs> Hello? I mean, the big worm. The worm Leviathan. Yes, the Leviathan. <laughs> yeah. The Leviathan. I miss him. Like I mom, miss him. Mama too. Worm. I want to kiss him so bad. Oh, I love him missing so much. Hell yeah. Anyway. Just. <sighs> so, normal beach time now. I'm yep. going to just stand <laughs> Splash the water Actually, right what Dara would do. Start playing with Ornan. What would he do? There's a cantrip na- called Mold Earth. Mm-hmm. Sandcastle. sandcastle. Yep. Yeah! Hell yeah. How how extravagant is the Sandcastle? Bro, I have a cantrip. It's infinite magic of Sandcastle. This is the most ridiculous Sandcastle yeah. ever Sandcastle. It's an actual size castle. Size castle you know. It's just like, what if... I just like imagine like Dara... Just for shits and giggles, goes over and kicks over a kid's sandcastle. This is the same kid as Scorpion. <laughs> but Why does everyone think Dara is such an no, asshole? No, 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 it's just for shits no, and giggles. But then rebuilds it even better. But then you just like unearth like a whole bunch of like shells and like decorative stuff, and you're like, you can go ahead and decorate it now. <laughs> Here you go. I still think Dara stealing a surfboard from a kid is the funniest <laughs> thing ever. Anyways, yes, you can build Castle of Sand. Sweet. Um, is, is it like, how big do you want it? You want to like live inside this thing? Do you, no. Do you just toff it and just like slam your foot down and then all of a sudden the model of Bossing Say comes up? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. As you do this that. This thing is like two foot by two foot and probably three foot tall. You see like a Goliath, like maybe 40 feet away from you, who's built like an actual, like pretty big sandcastle door. He's like standing on top of it, like over this like rampart wall and just looks over and goes, what the fuck was that? It took me all day to build this. Yeah. You see someone else come up. It's like a gnome. He's like, 
Sandcastle King, he insults you. <laughs> <laughs> no one insults the Sandcastle King. Your Sandcastle's perfectly good. It's bigger than mine. <laughs> it's bigger, sir. All right, fine. You can keep your sandcastle. He turns around and walks away. <laughs> just, it's not about the size of your sandcastle. <laughs> it's about how you use it. Yes. <laughs> it's about what you do with the sandcastle. Yeah. The you, the should, you should build a sandcastle Motion. for the gnome. Yeah. You should build a sandcastle for the gnome. <laughs> build a sandcastle for like the gnome. Like, he's a layer. No! He gets his own, like, <laughs> sub castle. That's funny. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, stand there for a minute. Miguel, oh, come on God. in. Uh, come uh, on! It's fun! I'm just, I'm enjoying the experience for a minute. This is, this, we, we, this is we should, we oh, should go yeah. get them. We should, yeah, yeah. we should, we should go. Okay. Get them. Wait, wait, what if you, what if you like go underneath the water and then like, I have like, I am twist them up on them like, deep. fuck. Mm, yeah. <laughs> just ornament like this in the water. <laughs> crawling all over the sand. Like you do as a, like when you're a kid and you like walk on your hands in the pool when it's super, super shallow. You, you probably have a better shot at hoisting than I do. What if, what if I like quiz him and then just like, yeah, in the water. Like, like how I would be wary of your feet. <laughs> I am always wary of my feet, Dada. Are you? Well, I'm sorry. It's. Oh, my it's just, I'm letting this happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm just not even that deep, so I just. Ah! <laughs> my head all the fucking sand. And then I grab him, like, like crush around, and I pull him on my shoulders and stand um, up. Yeah. <laughs> Into the water we go. How am I situated? You're on, like, I like, fling you, like, up onto my shoulder. Like, like you're sitting. Over? You're, like, or I try to, like, back. get you to, like, sit on my shoulder. Like playing chicken? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Okay. It's a piggyback. Okay, but, uh, like, legs up here? Yeah. Okay. So I just, ha- I'm, I'm, I have my arms on the, on the top of your head. I'm just like, <laughs> Into the water we go. Do you know how to How's swim? How's the weather up there? I certainly do not. Oh. 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 Do you want to learn how to swim? Drop me. What? Drop me. I want to go back and listen. At this, this point, I just is... like get I my arms this. under my cow's legs, yes. and I just. You hit it. You hit a shallow part. Just fucking <laughs> dodge. <laughs> 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 yeah, you hit like a no, like, like a, in, no into like the deeper part of the water. <laughs> you hit I'm a sand. Deeper. You hit a sandbar before it just drops out of you. Boom, boom. Okay. Um. <laughs> he's gonna resurface. Um, I mean, you'll have to. That's not how that works. Um, <laughs> the fucking um. <laughs> Yeah, hold on. Fucking <laughs> in the middle of drinking water too. Oh, I you just realized you got it all over my paper. You bitch. <laughs> and that spit everywhere. Hold on, you just gotta do the oh, bubble, 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 bubble. The I, spit episode. I, I now dive down and I oh. grab you and I am like all holding. over. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the spit episode. You were the splash zone. Okay. <laughs> the splash. Kick. Kick. <laughs> Kick! Kick! Oh, kick! No, no I'm holding your arm. Kick! I'm kicking! Okay. How do, how do you feel? Like I'm kicking. That's good. That's a okay, start. Okay, now, now do, do um, I have a one arm? He's literally drowning right now. Yeah, I, I, I grab that hand, now do with the other hand. Yeah. Okay. okay. So why are we okay. going through teaching someone how to fucking dog your Like a like a like a like a okay. I, I don't do it very gracefully, but I. <laughs> you swim like me. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> you're Scottish. Oh, <laughs> <Hey>, he's Scottish. <laughs> I'm Rose. I'm Rose. I'm swimming. Very good. There's like water splat. I'm like smacking yeah. the water. <laughs> no, You're no, in, in the water. 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 In the In the water. In the water. In the In the water. I am learning. In the water. In the water. In the water. In the I am the water. That's my canon reason. I lost my accent during the Mistwoods, and that's why it pops out when he yells. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of your symptoms. Because it happens so often. <laughs> it's one of your symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> it's your sixth sense. 
<laughs> Random Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Scott's Scottish. He injured. lost his eyesight, but he gained the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Dara becomes Scottish. Frankly, I call that a win. Dara. He's always been. <laughs> that was his inspiration. Okay. <sighs> Eventually, I, I will get better at it. And I'll, yeah. It's still not graceful at all, and I would not last and for very long. Our arms really in good. the water. And, and then I, get, I eventually, but, I'm kind of chilling and I'm like, dog, you paddle Nice. So. Yeah, there you go. So proud of you. this point in time, you guys enjoy a couple hours of swimming in the Furuwaiven Sea <laughs> before the sun would stop. set <laughs> and the stars <laughs> would come out. You would see people start to bring uh, pretty big, like, logs of wood out to the <clears> beach <throat> before setting it up in, like, a teepee. And then all across for Wyvern, um, one of you see someone uh, like hold up a torch at the very end of the beach, and they light the bonfire. And then, much like Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and then you would see um, quite a few people from the town start to bring out um, like food to <gasps> roast over the barbecue. Cool. And so it's almost like a nighttime <clears throat> festival, almost. Oh, yeah. <gasps> so. Start doggy paddling back to the shore. You're doing so good, Miguel. To wherever Ambrose is. Ambrose is already clothed. Amazing. I'm just sopping wet, like a wet dog. I just go up to him. Have fun. Swimming. Yeah, you swim for a long time. Proud of you and like pats you on the head. I'm not a dog. N- no, you if grew you out of that. Me, if you want me to be, if you want to treat me like a dog, I'm gonna turn my head slightly to the side. And no, 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 You feel your legs get Should tugged I out from it? underneath you. This <laughs> mage hand just like <laughs> floats above you. Get the sand all over. Hmm. Yep. I think you deserve that one. Shut the fuck up. Keep it up, Ambrose, it was funny. Just swept me off my feet. <laughs> Wanna see me do it again? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> you feel another force has made changes. <laughs> <laughs> what clever one do you have to say about that? Actually, I don't want to give you time to think. And he's just going to start like walking away. <laughs> yeah. That's the same taste. Dry. There's a water. You have to go wash it down. Yeah. <laughs> Don't actually wash it down, no, please. No, I'm gonna wash it off. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I need to probably go do the same thing. I'm covered in... Holy shit. <laughs> Dara becomes a hint. Sandman. Sandman! And I will cleanse myself of all this sand and then make my way and get redressed. Sure. I would you also guys... make my way out of the water. You guys yeah. spend some... Is there anything else you guys wanted to do before you get dressed? Mm. Going once for C. <laughs> Going twice. Going twice. Going thrice. I think I'm just gonna sit something. on the shore for a bit and just kind of look out. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Just, I'll actually do. The, I'll actually do the same yeah. thing. It's, yeah. it's been a while. Yeah. I'll just reflect. You know, it takes me back to. Old times. Is Sandcastle King still here? Sandcastle King is definitely still there. Damn, okay. Were you gonna kick over a sandcastle? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, why does everybody think there is a dick? <laughs> Alright. Yeah. 
It's a beautiful night. The starlight reflecting off the calm sonore sea. You kind of like look over and just reflect on times before um, with you and your boy and the trips you would have taken, trips you may have taken in the future. Um, with Ornan beside you, it's very much reminiscent of those those times. It just kind of brings you back to your younger motherly self with your son. Um, you kind of like see the vision of you and your boy out on like the sea or the beach side, um, you holding his hands as he like um, waddles through like the shallow part of the beach, um, the waves kind of like sweeping him up and you picking him up uh, so he doesn't get wet. Um, but it's just, it's, it's nice. The kind of cool, gentle breeze of the ocean kind of brings you back to reality. Uh, you hear people laughing, giggling, having fun. Um, the smell of like roasting meat over the bonfire is kind of like wafting in your direction. Um, <clears throat> You hear the sounds of your own friends who are um, getting cleaned up, putting their clothes back on, um, talking amongst themselves and everything. And while you're here as well, you would begin to sense this energy. It's familiar. Your monarch shards would begin to vibrate even more. You might not have noticed it when you first came to this town. But now that you're taking this time, you begin to feel them. Wherever the shard is, it's close <laughs> to here. While well, all you guys are <clears throat> getting back, <clears throat> excuse me, getting dressed and <clears throat> Ornan, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> I'm actually dying. <laughs> no! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That's me why he's dying. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, fuck me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, um, putting your clothes back on, um, getting prepared to do whatever you need to do for the rest of the night, you guys would start to hear some sort of commotion from the town. Uh, people would start to, like, yell um, and then you would hear some like woman scream, and then all of a sudden you hear <laughs> like something has crashed through a building. What do you guys do? Walk. Um, I would start running in yeah. that yeah. direction. Okay. I would. Ambrose would already be like running back to you guys after like taking his little walk. And then, are you guys taking off as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ambrose runs over, sees you guys take off, and takes off along with you guys. Um, as you guys begin charging into the town, uh, you would see at the inn and tavern, there's a commotion. People oh, are, like, great. running out of the building. What do you do? I charge in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. I would try and stop a person and see what's going on. Okay, yeah, you grab onto, like, a woman who's just wearing, like, a simple dress. Um, you, she, like, turns around and, like, eyes wide. Just, what? What's going on? I, I, I don't know. I That's just fine. heard some sort of, like, explosion or something. I don't know. Then get out of here. Take okay. care of yourself. Okay. She turns around and starts running away. Um, so, you guys charge into the inn, busting in, and kind of, like, look around, and people are... Um, like scrambling to just get out. Nothing seems to be out of place at first. And then you hear um, like electricity, like and then you hear and you feel like a rumbling, like a shockwave as something comes blasting through the wooden wall, crosses you guys and slams to the um, wall beside you just and you see it's like a lizard folk that looks more crocodilian um, wearing like pirate captain attire just into the wall and kind of like slumps down 
um, you see walking in from the opposite side where now there's this like massive hole in the side, dust kind of like clearing um, rubble all over the ground. You see this human walking, bare chested, long black dreadlocks, uh, darker skin, kind of like soul patch on his face. This man's body has markings of lightning all on his body. Like um, lightning scars, like getting shot? Yeah. They are glowing blue and yellow though, and there is electricity arcing around him. You feel the like sense of like electricity in the air as he like steps in. His eyes are glowing, and he has this fierce, just violent, aggressive look on his face as he looks over. <sighs> Captain Silvertooth! I found you! Give him back! Um, the captain, who you now know is referred to as Captain Silvertooth, is just kind of like unconscious, just embedded into the wall. And this guy starts taking steps forward um, before um, someone would rush past you guys and like push you out of the way, running over to Captain Silvertooth. Um, this is a younger boy, also dark skin, has kind of like a... Um, shaved head with um god i don't know how to describe it almost like if it's chopped off dreadlocks that are all like like liberty spikes but not like almost flatter yeah like like, they, like there was something there that got chopped that's like yes shorter, like yes, yes, yes. section mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. um uh so that kind of haircut darker skin um wearing kind of like sailory pirate outfit runs over to captain silvertooth and then like whips his head over to the guy with the lightning scars and then holds out his hand and just goes, please stop, he's hurt. Can't you see? You've already done enough damage as it is. Um, and the guy takes another step and just goes, Karos, please, I'm only trying to help. Do you know how long it's been? Um, the younger boy, um, still holding out his hand, looks back towards Captain Silvertooth. Captain, please! We need to go now! And turns back around. Stop! Valen! Please! He took you away. I will not let him take you again. Um, then you hear, like, shuffling, and you see, uh, Captain Silvertooth, like, eyes open, and very slowly he reaches, like, into his coat pocket, and you hear the two, uh, men arguing before he just pulls out a flintlock pistol and holds it, and just without hesitation, with a black powder, like, erupting, um, in a brief, like, flash of movement, uh, you see uh, this blue tiefling with, like, black scruffy hair jump in front of the man with the lightning scars and takes the bullet, <coughs> falling to the ground instantly, uh, blood already begin to pool. Um, Karos would whip his head towards Captain Silvertooth, who begins to, like, stand. <sighs> <laughs> You can't stop us. Not now. Come on, boy. <laughs> and as he like grabs onto Karos, he like looks back towards um, the man with the lightning scars. <sighs> Turns around and both of them just would disappear. Um, the man with the lightning scars is looking down at this tiefling who's on the ground and just like... <gasps> <clears throat> um, the lightning and electricity would disappear as he like drops to his knees and picks up this tiefling's head. I promise, no, 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 why? Why would you do something so stupid? The tiefling looks up and like outreaches his hands towards this man's face. <clears throat> Captain, I gave you. I promise, didn't I? <clears throat> I would make sure that you see your quests fulfilled. You need to get him back. <sighs> his life begins to expire in this man's hands and you see his arm kind of like slump down and his head kind of go limp 
And this man begins to, like, tear up, tears streaming down his face before he, like, gently lays him down. He stands back up. I hate to be a nuisance here, but this is kind of my entire thing. (laughs) Can I try and step over and spare the dying? And... Okay, yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? Well, I start with Spare the Dying to see if it prevents him from... As you go to, like, walk up, this man, like, lifts his head up to you, and you can see his eyes begin to glow. He views you as hostile in this current moment as he stands back up, and you just see electricity start to, like, arc around him. Hey, I just want to help. I don't want to see someone die. You see it start to, like, die down. Do you trust me? Please. And yeah, I'll go over, hit him with Spare the Dying, see if it seems to be doing anything. If it seems to stop enough, then I'll hit him with it, Cure Wounds. You go to do Spare the Dying. Your magic takes place, but something stops it from affecting this individual. Is there any, like, does it feel like there's anything stopping me, or is it, like, it just doesn't? There appears to be some sort of, like, we make an arcane check. Okay. Not a great skill check for me, but we'll see what happens. Arcana, where are you? Where is that part? Ugh. Twelve. I have zero, so... Peach stage. You don't know what's stopping it. Is the bullet still in there? Yes. Yeah. Does somebody have a knife? Yeah. Yeah. Can I borrow it? Do you trust me? So I'm going to try and dig out this bullet. I think it might be causing me my magic from not taking place. I can't promise anything. But it's the best I've got. You seem like contemplating as like what to do. I said peach nature. Okay. Then yeah, I'm gonna try and get, like you remove should... this as quick gently as possible. As you go to do that, um, you would hear someone run up beside this man. Um, she is human, short black hair. Um, she appears to have like scars all over her body. Um, she's wearing, like, simple cloth pants and almost, like, a black, like, tank top shirt. And she runs up to this man and, like, grabs onto his arm. Fallon, Fallon, they're taking off already. We need to go. We need to go now. He, um, like, just stares down at the tiefling, and then she looks down. Mm. Fallon, we need to go. So. You go ahead and make a sleight of hand check to see if you can dig the bullet out. I was hoping it was going to be medicine. Sleight of hand. I can come try to help if you need it. Yeah, I'm going to need help. Okay, then I'll Because I've got a negative one in anything, Dex. I will help. Do you want me to do it instead? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm like, I've had I thought it was going to be a medicine check. (laughs) I've had to pull things out of people before. (laughs) And I'll try to... Okay, go ahead. I yeah. <laughs> I'm aiding, so advantage. Give yourself guidance. I'll hit you with that. So that's an unnatural 20. So unnatural 20. Got a 16 plus 4. Okay. You are able to dig the bullet out of this tiefling. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Okay. Yeah, I will try to, like, wrap up the wound and then try again with Spare the Dying. You do Spare the Dying again. You feel the spell take place, but it does not affect this body anymore. Too Is long. he like dead? Yes. Too long. Because you have you have a minute. I don't even think it was too long. Maybe you have a minute. Yeah, I know. As Valen is staring down at this body, tears streaming in his face, um, the woman looks like back and forth from the tiefling on the ground to the man and just like grunts before just slapping him across the face and he just 
<clears throat> Fallon, think! Fuck. Okay. Thank you for your help. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. I'll take care of the body. I'll provide, perform funerary rites. Okay. Any final requests before I do? No. I'm sorry, I promise. Fallon! They're getting away! That woman! She's with them too! We gotta go! Come on! And like grabs his hand, like whips him around, and they begin to take off. This feels like a we need to get involved kind of situation. Then involve yourselves. Fine. I'm. Who is this woman? They took off. No, they took off. I'm. I'm gonna. Yep. yep. I'm gonna go. Out. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh they, shit. They okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm with. I'm with. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they took off, and so. You guys take off after them. They run towards the docks. So what are you doing? Um. As I'm running, can I keep my eyes out? So like they're heading to the docks. People, the people that they're chasing are already starting to, like, to leave. leave. You see a ship that is like sails out and is already starting to leave port. Is Go it ahead. too far that I can't see anybody on the ship? Make a perception check because you guys, the tavern is very close to the docks. Yeah. I'm gonna ask this fuck boy. Oh. 13. 22. Okay, Mirage, did you want to do anything? Um, yeah, I wanted to check to see where my uh, fragments are pointing. Where those two are running towards mm-hmm. is pointing in that direction where they're running. Yep, figured. All right. Um, I don't want to fucking hop on my broom. Okay. Vroom, vroom. So you go to vroom, vroom. <clears throat> Ornan, what you would be able to see as this one ship is leaving port, walking across kind of like the quarter deck where like the helm of the ship is, you would see a half-infected woman wielding a really grody staff made of this flesh. And almost like you two were connected for a brief moment, she slowly turns her head, her hood kind of like in front of her, the side of her face, as she moves, kind of like parts, and you see her one like infected part of her face and that blind eye and the other eye just look right into you. And she just stares at you. You think she gives a slight smile, almost like a cocky smile. Just instinctually doing the same thing back. Just like we found you. Mm. Okay. Someone needs to look at that room. I don't think we're staying here for long. The woman who wants to do the rights. I so don't, I don't think that we have. He can give a prayer, and that might be it. I know. And this is this is Jamie talking. Mm. I'm trying to think. Because that's that that's near his whole gig. He's not gonna be like, I'll come back to this later. <laughs> like, no, there's no way. Won't. So the only way that I think that maybe if they have some sort of place that they can keep the body until it's even able to be buried, like a like fantasy morgue. Like that's the only th- thing I can even think. Well, of. Without it's... getting into it, you're not gonna drag him away. Yeah. Because I'm just like more there's than a pile of shit there. Because I'm like more than likely we're gonna have to book it. Yeah, that's why he just let you guys go. Because I don't want to end up being like, yo, let's hop on the ship and go chase those fuckers down. And then be like, bye, Daryl, we'll catch up with you later. Have fun finding your way onto the ship when we're in the ocean. <clears throat> well, it's not a very... 
big C. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is that we, we... Can you just this once? No, it's his, it's his whole gig. Yeah, you... it's, That's a huge deal to him. And that's also Macau's internal conflict, is he knows that too. So what do you guys do? Fuck! I am sitting by this corpse. Okay. Just Perform kinda... your burial rites! <laughs> oh, shit. Just kind of staring at it. Hands bloodied, not moving. Just kind of in a state of shock. Okay. People at this point would begin to start to gather around the building. Mirage, what are you doing on your broom? All right, so, <clears throat> yeah, bolting it. Um, I'm assuming I've probably <sighs> caught up to that lady at some point. Which to the, sin? The one, no, the, no. the one uh, who's chasing down the ship. The That's what the yeah, they're running towards the docks. You would have caught up to them. Yeah, it's like. So what are we doing? Bringing the bringing them down, bringing the ship down. Are you asking them that yeah. as they're running? Yeah. Um. The the woman kind of like looks at you and just kind of like, "What the fuck? Get out of our way!" And she just keeps running. And the the man just goes, "We're trying to stop them." I'm sorry. We have to go. Um, like, all right. Pause. Mm-hmm. Plan. Throwing a tsunami at the ship. I, you you might push um, their ship further out yeah, into sea. Unless it comes from the other side, but I, even then, it might be too far out for it to work. Yeah, there's only so unless much range on that you, spell, and boats are relatively but, fast. Um, your best bet would be convince them to let you to accept your help. So that way they let you guys on the ship and you guys can go. Tell them that you know. It's just like, I saw her. I know <clears throat> that yeah, Sin is on there. Tell her you know there. who Sin yeah. is and that you want, are willing to try and help bring her yeah. down. That might be a solid enough argument. Listen, if you just let them stop in their tracks, yeah. I can be like, I know who that well, person is. Listen, I know who Sin is. I know that infected person we're trying to bring her down to. Valen, Let us help you. Valen kind of reaches out his hand to stop the woman. You know of sin? Unfortunately. How? We can talk about this later. The woman's like, Fallon, we don't have time. We spent so long. I know. What, what, What more do you know of her? Would we catch up by this time? Sure. Okay. Start dumping knowledge. What's up? What's going What's on? What's up? What? I, I saw I saw yeah. Sin. She she's on the she ship. Got... But listen, we got like a whole like personal like past thing. She with... fucked us up real bad. Seemingly they literally like killed an entire ship of fucking people, like a ferry full of people while we were there. So, shit's personal. Do you know where they're going? I, I, I don't. Fuck. Um, Mirage, like, your thing starts to move your monarch shard as the ship begins to leave. So, <laughs> we listen, use a compass, no, basically. Listen, we... Okay. Do you want her gone? Do you want Sin dead? I don't care what happens to that woman. I just want my brother back. She has your brother. That's what's going on. Okay. 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 And I have okay. something that can help us find her. If, if the man who is in the tavern helping, correct, right? If you wait for him to finish what he's doing, we can all go together. We can track down sin. Okay. The woman looks. We have a built-in compass. We don't need their help. If we leave now, we can catch them. Listen. Listen. You guys know damn well, waiting there, for me is gonna waste too much time. There is no, listen, I don't know your skill level and I'm not doubting it. That girl is like a living fucking hive mind, okay? It's gonna require- She can take control of literally any person that she infects. And if anybody on that ship is fucking infected, they're gonna be coming after your ass. It's better to have someone who has personally fought with her. We've also killed her compatriots. 
as well. Valen looks over to the woman. Silvertooth. She's controlling Silvertooth. <sighs> Let us help you. Please. We can't beat her without a plan. It's suicide if we just rush in right now. That is that is a very good point, though. That is yes, a very, a very good, good fucking good point. point. Terrible idea. However, <laughs> number she has something that I'm seeking, point. and I have something that could pinpoint her. You'll know how to track them. Yes. <sighs> Get going. We can't leave you. Yes, you can. There are ways for me to catch up. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Not metagaming bitch. Just go. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. We can, we can figure. Do you know what the, what their goal is? Why they have your brother? What what they're up to? <laughs> I don't. My brother left one day, and this is the first time in months that I've seen him. And I just figured out who he's with. That's all I know. Do you have ways? Uh, do you or anybody that you're with have any way to communicate with people that are not within your vicinity? Arcane means, anything like that? Yeah. Great! We'll message Dara. Let's get the fuck on a ship and go. Yep. Okay, okay. We can... Add... I we want to talk about... We can talk about... We can talk about plan we're on the ship. Let's... Okay. Get us the fuck on the ship! You four would make your way onto the ship, minus Dara. <sighs> that feels wrong. <laughs> You'll be fine. We'll get it sorted. Again. You run onto the docks, you board the ship, and that's where we're going to end the session. Oh, 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 oh. And so, the Rift Seekers encountered a Rift Dragon, a winged, void-headed, marble-skinned creature that can manipulate gravity and cause rift storms to appear at will. A deadly creature indeed. But luckily, our adventurers were able to make it to the Sonoray Sea and spend some time enjoying the town of Furwyven. Their downtime was brief as Sin Isolde, another one of Kasich's homunculi, made its appearance. With another goal right before them, the Rift Seekers take off with the crew of sailors, hoping to stop Sin before she can escape. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend. And goodbye for now.